be my life. Welcome back to uh, Blades in the Dark. No PNG tubers today because they aren't working, so you'll have to figure out who's talking. We don't need it. Now we're going to just all talk smoothly yeah. into the microphones like this for the entire session. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the game. Or not. You know, it's completely up to you. You can choose not to enjoy it if you don't want to. That's always an option. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yes, do you remember so where the, uh, the cat whisker is? You think I'd know by now, wouldn't you? <laughs> um, I, I'd normally ping it, but um, I'm going to give you guys a chance to just walk around and try and find it. Fox, I feel like Fox doesn't know. He just, Fox, Fox needs to have like a certain amount of alcohol in his system to find the oh. place. God. Just... You would think, oh wait, is this it? Oh, that's Muskrat Manor. Is this it? Nope, that's oh, not no, it. Oh, no, that's not lost. <laughs> oh, God. Is it you? City Morgue. Aha, I found it. You found it? What? I found it. I don't even know where you are. <laughs> I'm built different. There she is. There I am. I'm built differently. Not necessarily better. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, not better, but not worse. Yeah, go ahead and uh, make your way in there. She's built thicker, that's what it is. Whether it's skull or ass, we'll never know. Oh, they're celebrating. <laughs> oh my god, it's Ariana. Yeah, Ariana's talking to Tyra from the back there. Blake is having some delicious pancakes with a new friend of his. And uh, Charlie's <laughs> waiting for you by your uh, usual spot. Corvo Ackerley. Yes, Corvo Ackerley is a... Uh, Calm, cunning, righteous. Currently investigating a string of incidents in Brightstone. I like that I can re read this uh, backstory yeah, yeah. of these characters. I mean, I guess maybe you'd be aware of him on his exploits. He's quite uh, renowned for that his exploits. Occasionally, he works with Lucas. Does his uh, does his uh, briefcase have anything written on it? <laughs> it does. Yeah. <laughs> you can click on it actually. Yeah, yeah Blake he... immediately introduced you to his new friend Corvo. Um, Blake is actually. Really excited to tell you, he's recently been promoted back to a, a new district with some really nice people. And he's currently oh. in charge of like working with the freelance detectives who are currently working on a new case. So you're no, under, you're no longer working under Muskrat then? You've been freed from his service? No longer working with him? No, absolutely correct. Although Blake right now is helping Corvo with an investigation about a robbery into one of the group barracks during the strike. Oh, I heard about that. It was some nasty yeah. business there. Corvo, being a, a nice, well-mannered gentleman, uh, shakes your hand, Fox, introduces himself. Oh. And uh, he offers you a seat at the end of the uh, bar as well, and you sit and like, chat with him. Oh, yeah, he's ordered, he's ordered quite a lot of pancakes, he slides you the uh, pancakes he has. Oh, these pancakes look delicious. They do look delicious. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Blake, <laughs> how, how did you getting a promotion come about? Um, his face turns red. As if it's something he doesn't really want to talk about, but he's like, well, um, for some reason, Muskrat seems to have uh, written him a letter of recommendation with a glowing uh, reference, and that got him uh, the new promotion. Usually, How Muskrat the calls him a, uh, uh, and then he trails off. Oh. <laughs> well, it, it's it's good that you're on the up and up, definitely. You wanna, yeah. wanna... You're a good kid. You're working. You're working very hard. Yeah, you're looking a lot better than you did the last time I saw you. Bobo turns to you both, and he uh, he asks Blake if uh, these are his uh, his lawyer friends that he mentioned. Uh, we we do dabble. Yes, we're kind of freelance in that area. Though. We're not not tied to that one specific job. But yes, we did have a very successful legal case. <laughs> oh, he, he congratulates you and uh, takes your hand on that. As you can tell, he's, he's a very polite young man. <laughs> While you guys are chatting with uh, Corvo and Blake, you can hear in the background that Arya is actually here to collect food that's going to be unwanted or expiring soon for the, uh, the shelter she works at. And Clara mm, happily uh, seems to be on a first name basis with Arya. She's, She's a happy. really nice girl. I hope nothing nasty happens to her. Yeah, she seems lovely. These pancakes are actually alright, but I, I, I mean, they've been out for a while, so the syrup has kind of absorbed into them and created a bit of a mush. But outside of that, it's pretty good. Hmm. Lake is currently um, having his, uh, I would say breakfast, he's having eggs and bacon, he's, he's having a late, like, late night shift, so it is technically breakfast <laughs> for him. 
It looked like lobster to me. <laughs> the bacon looked like a little tail. So tell me, how how is it you two um, met each other? Well, Corvo uh, takes a sip of some tea and then finishes off his uh, food. And he tells you that um, he's actually worked with the Blue Coats for quite a while. He's helped them with um, a lot of cases because the Blue Coats don't actually like to investigate cases. They like to just arrest and beat people. So he does the mm. detective work for them on a freelance basis. If they, oh, so you're uh, also he's, freelance. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a freelance. He's not actually officially with the Blue Coats. He just takes them on whichever case they Yeah, con- a consulting yeah. detective. Yes, yes, exactly. But, um, this one, this case, he, and he reaches into the briefcase and brings out a few notes. Like, I think this recent robbery is currently related to a, a string of crimes, potentially, because they seem to be targeting the Witch of Christ. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, and I think it might be. Uh, this is a, a brand new motive I've seen amongst the gang. I think it might be a brand new syndicate that just emerged. Oh. Well, there's so many out there, it's hard to put them down, isn't it? Yeah, we've got I, types of people in the industry. Could I take a, take a look over that, Mr. Accolade? I mean, obviously... It, I don't want to, if, if it's confidential, I wouldn't want to, but uh, I just, uh, from, a, from a legal perspective, um, just to see what, what we've got here so far. He puts the notes back into his bag. Unfortunately, they are indeed confidential at this stage. I, I'm sorry, I, sh- I shouldn't have shouldn't have asked. I apologize. <laughs> Worth <a> try. <laughs> as, you're, uh, as you're doing that, a certain someone comes over and just starts eating your pancakes. Oh my goodness, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, everyone's here today. <laughs> hey guys, uh, I hope you guys are here. You... I'm, I'm here to collect for Bazo. He wants five coin today. He wants five coin? We, we haven't. Five... We haven't. Uh, can we uh, maybe go discuss this over by the uh, fireplace? Fireplace? I mean, uh, just, by the, just by the there. seats. Can I, can I take, take them with me? Can we take some of these pancakes with us just to go? He doesn't, he doesn't wait to hear a yes, he just takes them. I'm very sorry, we... sorry for Charlie. We only met him recently. He's just a client of ours. Uh, he got into some legal trouble, and we've uh, been advising him on it. So we're just going to go discuss a few things with him. Uh, but it was lovely meeting you both. Yeah, Bobo, it was uh, nice seeing you again. Well, and then uh, carries on uh, discussing with Blake. Um, what did he want? Charlie's not using the table. He's eating it off the floor. He's sat on the floor. Charlie, Charlie. Uh, usually. You guys come after we've done our job. And then he, he, he takes a moment to break from his thinking, well, why not just come before and after? Well, you that see, we, we, we don't, we, we, we earn money by doing the job, and then we give you a cut of that job. So we don't have money beforehand. I don't think Bob's going to care if you've been working or not. I think he just wants the coin. Well, no, no, then we'll, and he'll get his coin when we do the work. You know that that's that's how this works. He gets a he gets a cut of it. It's like it's like taxation. Yeah, Charlie, dear. It was it was clearly stated that it would be after the job. Well, I mean, I, I can just lie to him and say you've I done a job have. and didn't pay. Look, Bazo is a is a businessman uh, uh, above everything else. Correct. He's a he's he is a man of uh, he's a man of wealth. He is a man of finance he knows he knows how all these things work and if he takes from us we can't go out to do said job because we won't have any money to do said job to earn more money to then give to you guys you're basically shooting your cow in the face and not once it's dead you won't get any more milk from it he uh, he tells you he uh, you've lost him there he's never seen a cow before so he has no, no idea no, what you're on about. I, he knows, I, he knows I, what I've shooting heard. is. He's owned a gun before. He's used a gun, like, quite a few times. <laughs> so imagine imagine you uh, you have a handful of seeds to, like, grow your food, right? Now imagine you uh, ate those seeds before they grew into the fruit. Like, sure, you get something out of it, but you won't have anything afterwards. What has that got to do with shooting? Like, you've lost me again. Like, and, then, and then he pulls so, out a gun. Pretty good with that. You are again. You are. You don't. You've not got your finger on the trigger, which doesn't mean you've got. You've not quite yet got the intention to fire. That's the important thing. Also, the safety's on. Oh, so, uh, anyway, the point is, if you were okay, to after you gave take him that information, he, fi- he fires the gun at the painting above the fireplace. He <laughs> shoots one of the paintings at the faces. Oh. <laughs> um. Were you aiming for that? 
I mean, yeah, sure, why not? I think it's an improvement. Yeah, close enough. He loads a gun again and points it Charlie. back at you. Charlie, please. Everyone's only staring at you being held at gunpoint by a madman jumping on the side of the gun. <laughs> um, uh, Lux kind of raises her hands a little bit. <laughs> She's kind of scared. <laughs> Fox just sort of uh, edges around the table. In that time, brave Oliver here comes and tackles oh, Sonny um, to the ground and disarms him. Oh god! <laughs> Fox Dolly picks up is, uh, the pistol. He has the gun taken off him. Okay, I was going to say Fox is going to pick it up, in there, in that, but yeah, I don't know. If, that, <laughs> if, 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 if they've taken it off him, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Oliver's disarmed him. And he's, he, so he wiggles out of Oliver's grab. He is a slippery fella. Anyway, uh, Charlie. Oliver's going to take the gun away from him. Charlie, mm -hmm. it's been absolutely lovely seeing you again. Um, we actually have a job to do, but we'll see you later today, okay? Once this is when you find done. out Oliver's actually the security of this place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes so much sense. That's why he's here all the time, I understand oh, that. <laughs> Uh, see, I, I just own the building. I don't know what Clara does with the clients. Oh, he's going to pick up his pancakes. And he's like, you know, I, I still got to report it to Bazaar that you, you're not paying, even though... Oh, no, we're paying later. As I said, when we've done okay, the job, okay. we'll, we'll pay you. Five coins. Five coins once the job's done. Don't you worry about that. Right, cool. He takes the pancakes and he walks up with them. Oh, oh God, I hope, we earn, I hope we earn at least five mm. coins. I do not want to have to fuck with that guy right now. I feel like he's a. I feel like he's not a bad person. I just feel like you know, there's just something not right up there, you know. You know, I've been scared I'm gonna die a few times in life. Bobo approaches you and he wants scary. to know what that was all about before he can escape. Uh, oh yes, uh, Corvo. Um, as I mentioned before, he is a ex-client of ours, and he is a little on the, the unhinged side. Um, he's not. He's not a, he's not like uh, an actual criminal, but he has the potential to be, you know, left unattended. Yeah. That's there. So we we just make sure to keep an eye on him, sort of like a social work situation, you know. He reaches into his bag and he pulls out a, a photo of Charlie and says, "I believe that's a member of the Blackhawks who are, are known for collecting on gangs in this area." The what? Oh, he's so tiny. They are a, uh, a rather large criminal syndicate, actually, quite a big, well-known one. Well, they are known for sending men working on Charlie around to collect money from uh, other criminals who are... As I said, we, uh, we, he was telling us that he was a, a vagrant. Yeah. So, I mean, um, I mean, this is something we're definitely going to have to look into. Mr. Ethnoy, um, see, the thing is, I actually own this establishment, and I... I've been threatened a few times for money by these people. Like, it looks, looks quite shaken from this experience. <laughs> he now does it. Are you, are you Madame Beast? Please don't use my name. You're, you're what now? <laughs> he, he, he makes a note on his little notebook about that. Oh, it's been a nice chat on you both, I believe. Um, if there are any more incidents like this, please do report to either myself or Young Blake. Uh, uh, we'll yeah. Oh, we, we definitely do we'll that. Investigate to the well, I mean, of course, we've got a plate full right now, but we'll see what we can do to help you out. No, no, I, I appreciate that. I've had these men coming in, like, every other week. Well, your security guard is very confident. He looks over yeah. Oliver. Mm. Oliver's I'm going to go great. have a quick conversation with him in regards to the, uh, the okay, Let's get some notes. So oh, you have to be careful with that man. He does lie a lot. <laughs> yeah, he, he he moves over to talk to Oliver, and just within his shot, you can hear Oliver immediately go into a uh, conversation about a, uh, a suspicious-sounding fishing trip he went on his father with. Who does that? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Fishing trip. I think I think we'll be okay. Oliver's not one to you know overshare any information, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Um, can we just make sure that uh, Mr. Ackerley is not... Oh, watching? he's thoroughly distracted by Oliver right now. Currently going on about how uh, the fish hook got um, into somewhere very inappropriate. Yeah. Oh, and the no. steps his father had to take to take it out. I've heard oh. that story before. It's, 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 it's quite graphic. We should, we should get out of here. I'm gone. She's gone already. He is someone we need to be very careful of. Mm. 
Yeah, he knows your real name. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't remember what it was, but... I mean, I... I, like, I can tell you, the main reason I use a different name here is so I can do things comfortably. No, no. I, I mean, if you want to be referred to as Lady Lux, then I'll call you Lady Lux. That's mm. that's fine. Adelaide wonders why uh, she heard a gunshot <laughs> and a bullet flies through here earlier. Oh, we were held at gunpoint. It just has with the job. Uh, yeah, uh, one one whiskey, cafe, please. That's uh, unheard of. And that lamp black boy, Charlie, the definitely unhinged crazy one. He decided that before we start our job, he wanted five coin. Well, um, he seemed to be quite the trouble because the next job you've got is uh, worth four coin. <laughs> oh, great. Oh. Interesting. Well, wow. If only one of us ran a business where we get two extra coin every... Oh, uh, well, yes, certainly that would be... That would be convenient, wouldn't it? It would be so convenient. <laughs> anyway, this job, is there any way that we can uh, squeeze a little bit of extra coin out of that? Uh, I don't believe so. It's just a simple extermination job. There's a, uh, a client who's recently brought a new tavern. Although there seems to be an infestation problem, they need someone to uh, clear it out. When you say extermination, you mean like creature and not human, right? Not human, of course, yeah. I heard it's got a pest problem. Oh. Maybe there's something you'd be good at, Fox. I mean, I've, I've dabbled. Never threatened me. Are you okay? I mean, that you seemed a little shaken up after the whole... Was that the first time someone had pointed a gun at you? No. Oh. It happens a lot to me. It's, uh... Yeah. You know what? Like, unless they shoot you in the head or a major organ, you can completely, like, you know, just walk it off. Mm. Mm. You just gotta bung it up with some like toilet roll or something, or like a bit of, or maybe like you know some if you if there's like an animal nearby, you can just sort of like bung that in there. All I can say is I'm very lucky I have access to medical um, procedures. Yeah, I no would suggest no disagreement uh, there. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest filling your bullet wounds with toilet roll. It's not used toilet roll. It's you know. It's I just... know. He, he even unused toilet roll. Adelaide turns to you and says, "We you are in need of like medical care. I believe there's a man in a pointy hat and a beard that KT pops by with medical herbs." Oh yeah, yeah. we we yeah. we know that guy. I think. Got on. I got on with him really well. And those <laughs> services are uh, rather cheap. Mm. Not whether they're good or not. I can really comment, but uh, cheap. Yeah. Adelaide, can I have a drink? Certainly can do. Uh, well, what kind of drink are you in the uh, mood? Um, Lux is still a little bit shaken by the whole gun thing. So, I don't know, like a coffee or... I just hit myself off my microphone. <laughs> Hold on. I need a second. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> can I also get a drink, Adelaide? I, I, I've not actually drunk anything today. He goes across the uh, the room and picks up the drink that you left on the floor and brings it back to you. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Is it still good? Probably still good. <laughs> Sit. There is no alcohol in that. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly just stale orange juice and like a, maybe a hint of whiskey. There's a lot of vitamins in this. This is good. It's the most. I really get my. I really feel healthier after I come back from this place. <laughs> yeah, uh, she tells you the the job you'll be doing. It's a, a simple pest control job. Someone bought a plot of land, tavern. It happens to uh, need a bit of work and um, getting some clear out. Four point for the job. You should be fine. What sort of pests are we talking about, though? She shrugs, she's like, the kind that uh, might be bad for business. Gold. Okay, I fixed my microphone. Good. <laughs> um, you mark the location on your map, it's a, a little tavern in six towers. Lux doesn't normally deal with pests, aside from Fox. Oh! Fox, take a point of stress for that. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
I'm sorry, it just came out. I like that you didn't actually say that in character either, but yeah. Fox, still, Fox still felt it. She still felt it. She felt it through the metaverse. <laughs> she just looked at him in a way, and he, he was just like, I understand. <laughs> I'm very stressed now. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. She turns away from you and starts drinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lux drinks her drink as well. Oh, it's wine. Oh, you've she been just scraping the, the bottle the... as well. Uh, must have been quite why, she, why, why is she getting wine when I'm getting juice? Because I... Um... Give, me, give me a sip of it. No. It's a whole bottle. No. You don't need a whole bottle. No, Look I'm not going to drink the whole bottle. Look at you, you're skin and bones. There's no, like, oh, you know, oh, where's, where, yeah. where's it even going to go? No. Just, a, just, a, just, a, just a sip. No. Fine. <laughs> drink my juice. <laughs> I keep getting stuck on the fucking table. I mean, it's been it's been fermenting for like two weeks, so it's probably oh, it's God. probably a probably a nice cider by this point. Yeah, yeah. Um, hold on. Um, I dropped it. There we go. I I was gonna like put it in the glass. I I don't know how you put it in the fucking glass. This is you all can, the can you? No, I can't. But if I drop it, it'll just be on the floor. Lux just drinks from the bottle. She'll pay for the full thing. <laughs> It's, I mean, you own the place. <laughs> you own Lux's personal stash you have in the back room. Is it a full oh, it's bottle of wine? Oh, my personal stash? It is. I mean, this entire oh. back room is just full of your stuff. Is that oh, an, yeah, a literal true. entire bottle of wine? Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna be fucking obliterated. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I, I might make that factor into uh, her role play, too. Who knows? Who knows? Right, well, this job sounds very interesting. Uh, so uh, we're going to need some form of uh, weaponry then to mm. kill said pests. Or or do you have a, a poison that we can maybe lay down? Oh. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a bring your own tools situation. I'm sure you've got me. Oh, I see. I, 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 well, yeah, well, I'm not... Mm. I, I can, I've got a few things, I guess. I'm not, not super skilled at killing animals or anything for that matter. Yeah, we've been purposefully avoiding murder. But you know, if we can, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll work something out. Well, we'll just we'll, we'll take it on. It's fine. We, we need the money. All right, cool. Go ahead and uh, pick your equipment load: light, medium, or heavy. Get heavy. Let's get a minigun. I'll <laughs> uh, probably go in light. I always do. Anyway, I promise you, and I give you this guaranteed promise right now: I will not kill myself. However, if I get in a dangerous situation and, you know, it's between, you know, me sa valiantly sacrificing myself to save my teammates, then who's to mm -hmm. say, you know, maybe in that situation, I would do something that would put my life on the line. But that is heroic and not suicidal, so that's okay. Fox. Fox. I swear, if you get killed, to protect either Vivere, I will come to wherever the hell you are and kill you myself. You'll kill me twice? Yeah, you're not allowed to die. Oh, okay. Is that the point you were making? Okay. Yeah. I was a little confused by that. Sometimes you speak mm -hmm. in a way that sort of, I feel like you're being metaphorical, but I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, I learned it's a difficult. lot. I'm, I'm very used to it, interacting in high society. It's a little bit Oh, do people talk her out in circles yeah. just a lot and just I, needless aphorisms? Yeah, I am uh, the way I am because of the people that surround me. Ah, oh, same, same here actually. Yeah. I uh, I I used to hang around with this uh, this this crew of people that <laughs> did a lot of really horrible stuff. Mm. I've seen some shit. Mm. But largely, you know, I you know, I, I feel like I'm I'm doing a lot better for myself these days. Yeah, you li listen, folks. You're running a business. It's successful. You're working hard. I know you're struggling mm -hmm. here and there, but you're doing a really good job. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. 
And whatever it is you're doing, which is very shady and I don't know, I assume you're doing good too. I... Can you keep a secret? <laughs> uh, oh, are you serious? Um, uh, I, I, you know, certain... Depends. Depends. Like, if it's, if it's something that's, you know, very deep and personal, then yes, 100%. Mm. If it's something that involves, like, you know, myself or someone else, oh, then, no. you know, it's like, it's, it's a whole, whole different ball game. What, what is it? Just tell me, just tell me, and we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> you know what, I'll, I'll tell you because I trust you, but... Terrible decision. <laughs> <laughs> every, every person I've said I trust you to recently have said, they said that to me. <laughs> So no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, well, it's gonna look serious for a minute, but she's kind of like... I have spent my whole life being raised to be one thing and one thing only. And the reason why I am here now is just because I want to be something different for a little while. Oh. Oh, I understand that. It's I mean, not that's... that I'm doing anything of valor. I just want the chance to be me for a little bit. You want to you want to carve your own path and not the path that's been set for you? No, I'm She she thinks for a second because like all she's ever really known is the way she was raised and like she's been raised to be like a councilwoman and to be like a wife. You know what yeah. I mean? So she's been raised with the ideals of becoming a wife becoming a mother and then becoming like a councilwoman on top of all that so on top of like providing and looking after her family she's supposed to provide and look after the the her area of council so she kind of just really wanted to be able to like break free from that and have fun before she has to commit to all of that well i don't think you have to commit to anything that you don't want to commit to the whole reason that you do something like this, surely, is that you can stand on your own two feet and be the person that you want to be. You shouldn't have let anyone else make decisions for you just because they're, I don't know, financing you or throwing money at you. The fact, especially if it's like a parental thing, like your parents bring you into the world and they, they pay for a few things and whatever, but largely what you do when you're an adult, that's, that's on you above mm -hmm. everything else regardless of what expectations they had for you. I mean, my parents' expectations of me were very different to what I do now, so. Anyway, uh, yes, um, but no, I can, I, I mean, I 100% can keep that a secret. I mean, I kind of assumed it might be sort of that sort of situation. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, so, you know, and, and it's not anything to be ashamed of, and it's not anything to be. I'm not ashamed uh, of the way I'm supposed to live my life. I've resigned myself to that fact. Well, I don't think I just, you need to do that. I just want to have some fun. Well, we can... We can do that. One way or another. <laughs> anyway! <laughs> <laughs> <Tell me. laughs> as you are... As you are having a discussion, are they just outside pretending you didn't hear any of it? <laughs> it's okay, Adelaide already, knew all, Adelaide already knew all this about Lux. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to pretend I didn't hear much of that deep conversation that they were having. They were having a moment. I'm going to pretend. That... We're you, having you, sex in here. You don't, you don't want to listen. It's, it's <laughs> extremely graphic. <laughs> Lux lets Fox have a sip of her wine. <laughs> <laughs> He, he takes a fucking chug. <laughs> She's like, she, she taps him on the nose, like, no, that's enough. I'm no. it out his mouth, like, Ow. Got, like teeth around the top of the bottle. Like, She's like tapping his nose, trying to get him to like. <laughs> oh god, that changed very quickly. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry, I, I just got a taste of it. It was. Oh, it's in my system. Oh. Yeah, I saw it. Oh. I oh, my hand stopped behind shaking. Your eyes. I saw it change behind every, your eyes. Every, every man has that behind his eyes. I'm sorry. It's just it's something we can't control. <laughs> Lux is putting the fucking topper back in the bottle. <laughs> my hand has stopped shaking, though, so that's good. One shot. That's all you're allowed from now on. 
And it's getting poured in a glass. Oh, okay. Well, that'll work. Right, we're gonna go kill some rats or something, I think. <laughs> yeah. He's like, wishes you good luck, and um, it's kind of weird. You know, she can tell that you're both very kind of a tipsy at the minute, and she's not confident that this job's gonna go very well, but she wishes you luck anyway. <laughs> Oh, I'm not. I'm. I'm actually pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on. A, I'm, on a, I'm on probably the, the the stable level now. I think. I think Fox drank more than I did. I. My liver is the size of a of a, of a, of a, a, a small football, so it's a. Uh, oh Jesus! You should get very, that look there. Well, I've I, I've been to the doctors recently, and their prognosis is not great. Oh, <laughs> oh. Anyway, Adelaide. We'll be back later. Lovely seeing you again. Always, of course. I was only joking about that. The doctor didn't say that my prognosis was bad. On your way out, you can hear uh, Oliver currently giving a uh, very detailed description about a, um, a gym session he had with a gym teacher in the closet. And I went to one. Uh, oh, Paul is um you can tell he's he's got a dead look in his eyes, he's, he's stopped taking notes. <laughs> it's it's okay, Oliver. I was touched by a teacher too. Oh my On your way out of Blake, he stops he's like, hey, hey Fox, I don't I don't uh, I don't think to say, like um you know that thing you yes. guys did for me on my birthday? Well, well I wasn't really involved well, well, in that, but, but yeah, guys, well, just... obviously you were kicked out immediately, but like Well yeah yeah. I'm telling you, that anyway. woman narrates is something else. I've been going like there over and over again. Like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> that's 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 great. That's great, Blake. I'm 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 glad you're. Are you paying for it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like most you're like paying. over fifty percent of my salary is probably gone towards these things. You know, Blake, when when a woman loves you, she won't make you pay for it. For it. And how long is it going to take for me to do that? I mean, you kind of. I mean, you gotta, gotta put the time in, you know, really, like, maybe write us some poetry, you know? Are you wanting to continue to bed her, but with a more sort of intimate, romantic feel? Well, he tells you that he's been working on poetry for a very long time and it's never worked. And it turns out paying for it is much easier. And now he's just sort of, like, given up on his own. It hasn't, it hasn't worked. You mean, be having performance anxieties? No, as in, like, you know, no. Writing poetry for me just doesn't seem to be getting oh, the money. Oh, okay, yeah, me neither, me neither. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the whole poetry stick, yeah. uh, out of the bag, in the bin. But, like, paying for it, though. Damn, that, oh, I should have done that earlier. I mean, sure, yeah. I mean, you can tell he, he really regrets it. all the years he spent being unemployed now when he could have been, like, you know, earning money and paying for uh, <laughs> women in the red light district. And he's, he's just trying to thank you, Bob, he's turning his life steady... He's genuinely in your debt, and he's like... So Fox's, like, Fox's face is going red and his hands are like shaking and he's like, oh, this is this is just perfect, you, you know, I'm glad that you're having a good time. You know, she is a professional woman, you know, she's entitled to do what she wants to do. And she's incredibly with her time. festival. Um, Lux she, is going to cut in, Lux is going to cut in, uh, grab Fox's hand and say, Blake, we have something really important we need to do, so I'm going to... Oh yeah, I'm, gonna well, I'm actually it. on my way out anyway to uh, go to that stuff show. I know he immediately. Fox's uh, teeth are chattering. <laughs> he uh, immediately heads towards the direction of the chats that he's been in. Um. Are you okay? I mean, I'm not, but I'm kind of worried the way you're reacting right now, which is kind of bringing me back down to the level. That's, that's it's strange. Um. Lux feels like this is her fault. What's up? I don't... Look, it's, 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 it's what it is, okay? I understand. She's a working woman. She, she, she has clients and she doesn't want to see me and she doesn't love me anymore. And it's just fine. It's, it's, it's... Let's just go to the job. I just need to go, mm. go work or drink. One of the uh, two. No, we need to work. We need to work. We need to work. Uh, Lux gives his hand a squeeze and kind of just... Uh, like, leads him out. Okay, Why is Aria walked over to me? <laughs> she's no, she's had just repositioned her by the bar, so she's uh, having some, uh, some food. If you want to oh, go, okay. go I want you to come over to talk. <laughs> no, no, I'm getting out of here. She's a bit, she's a bit young for my liking. <laughs> she's 19. It's fine. 
um, I think there's like a running uh, taste that uh, Fox has for women because Nerex is also very tall and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> right, the place you'd want to go to is in a place called the uh, the Teeth in Charlo, right there. Oh God! I believe Fox the walked past us earlier on his way to the Cat Twister. I think I've oh, seen no, this yeah. place before when I was lost. Oh, wait! When did you get lost? It happens a lot, mostly in between jobs. Oh. You know, I you think by now I'd have a good lay of the land, but I really don't. I have literally no sense of direction at all. I mean, that makes sense for you. I get through like three pairs of shoes a month just because they keep wearing out the soles from all the walking I do. Even looks. Oh, there's a fucking ghost hand! As you uh, enter the tavern, you can see definitely there is a, uh, a type of infestation. This place. You can oh. tell the person who uh, took out the contract probably wasn't entirely honest about the type of infestation in order to, you know, maybe get away with paying less for it by downselling how uh, serious it might have been. There are a lot of ghosts in here as well. This guy behind the bar is really spooky. <laughs> I don't like Okay, it. if you can both quickly just what? go to your character sheets and click on the little red dice next to the word resolve to uh, see how scared you guys are right now and if it stresses you out in any way. Uh, please do that. Resolve. Um, yeah, resolve. That's the one. It's little red dice next to it. Where? Oh, uh, here. Fox, you're, you're walking absolutely confidently. Like, Fox has three in resolve. That's like his whole thing. <laughs> Lux, you are fine with it as well, yeah. You're, I think at this uh -huh. point you're starting to get used to it, but like, you probably had a feeling that this might have been a, uh, a, a spooky It's a spooky contract and Beth isn't even here. <laughs> Sit down at the bar <laughs> and like order a drink. No, don't. Can I just get a shot of whiskey, please, sir? Mr. Barman, please do not give him alcohol. He, he, he looks at you and says, well, I've got a lot of customers here today and it's uh, first, but if you're happy with waiting at the moment. I can wait, I can wait a little They've while. They've been waiting yeah. a very long time to be served. Oh, you're not very good mm. at your job then, are you? We are understaffed. Uh, what? I, what? Hey, are you looking for employees? No. Where's Viv? Where's Mayhaps. Viv when we need Viv? <laughs> are you looking to join our ranks? Wow. <laughs> Say no, say no, say no. You know what? When ghosts ask you if you're willing to join their ranks, that usually means that they're going to kill you. Yeah. Huh. No, I'm, I'm quite fine, thank you, but we would like to uh, peruse your menu if you've got one. Sure, he tries to hand you a menu, but his hand's got right to it. Oh, don't yeah. worry, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it myself. <laughs> the menu Sorry, we're on, that, we're on your hands. This is our this is our first date, so we're just you know, just making sure that if we want to make we want it to be perfect, you know. Understood. Look, looks is kind of confused by that. <laughs> also, it looks like you're standing on the on that chair. He's quite yeah, short. He, he is standing is, on like it. Yeah. You're, you're, you're currently like, height with looks. He's like he's sat he's sat like above it, and he's like it's like one of those really high ones, so his feet are just dangling. Oh. <laughs> How are you guys going to uh, proceed to exterminate these pests? That's a good <laughs> question. Um, what do what do you use to uh, kill ghosts? Those. You can either shoot them. You, can, you probably have some items you can probably use. Or I you have can a try charm, and uh, attune to them and see what they want and send them in these. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna. I, that's what I was sort of trying to do when I was sort of talking to him. Like, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go a bit deeper with it. So I was just just wondering, how long have you uh, have you been working here? Oh, since uh, last Tuesday, I think. Oh, did something happen last Tuesday? Yeah, um, the, the, there was a gambler who uh, came in here and uh, he set up a poker table, played a lot of games, okay. he won quite well. Um, oh. Surprisingly interesting watching him play, but like, when he gambled, um, the more sour things got around the atmosphere. I see. Um, do we have any idea on how long this tavern's been abandoned for? You get the impression it might have been about 200 years or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, blo the blood so, is supposed to be dried. And the stuff. wine from, must taste amazing. So from our knowledge of ghosts, do ghosts know that they're dead? They do, yes. 
So he's aware that he's dead, but he feel he's been repeating this. And you know, the for longer like a, a person's years. ghost is uh, active, uh, they'll need to uh, feed on the living to uh, sustain themselves, and that hunger yeah. drives them towards becoming evil spirits. I'm just Fox is just gonna like slide one of the like beer bottles over, and just like pop the top open. It's probably gonna be. It's, it's full of spiders. They they crawl yeah. out immediately. Oh. Okay. And Fox isn't bothered by spiders, so <laughs> he just like picks them Good. up. Lux is one. I just had a quick question. Yes. Why are you still here? Because this bar is a. Uh, I can't close until all the customers have been attended, and they have been so waiting for these, so long. So if the customers were to be gone, you would be able to leave as well. It means I can finally go home. Sure. Could I? So, from again, a ghostly understandings, this one seems to have more faculty than most ghosts that we've interacted with thus far. Is that right? Uh, you've interacted got, with ghosts the same type of faculty in Cold Lock's basement. Because this one, this one seems to know who he is. Yep. And seems to understand how but he is. Scared. And and I'm also getting the impression that he wants to move on. Essentially, but you also know that um, ghosts do fade over time unless they uh, feed on the living, and this guy seems to be uh, very uh, vividly. Uh, There's also blood so must... everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You get the, the impression hmm. that, uh, that he might have been well fed. Oh, okay. And he may be leading you in a uh, direction. Can we. Um, Fox. Darling. Yes, yes um, darling, yes. Um, could we have a quick conversation outside? I think we should. I think we should. We'll be right back. As you so. go towards the exit, the door's gone. Ah, oh. oh, go figure. It's just a blank um, wall now. Well. Okay. Hmm. No, this is fine. We just gotta. Um, we just gotta remove these ghosts. We're just gonna have a sidebar. So um, there's just there's just a few like there's different ways we can handle ghosts. Like sure, you can shoot them. That works. But. Mm -hmm. One thing I discovered when I got rid of that little doggy, you know, if you can just reason with the ghost, you can convince them, you can connect with them, you can help them move on. And personally, I think that's the better way to go about this. I think if we can take the time to talk with them, understand them, or we can just shoot them, you know, that's an option too. And uh, Fox is going to pull out a gun. Uh, <laughs> that is indeed an option, yes. My, my worry is the man behind the bar he clearly knows what he's doing oh yeah he's he's got all of his faculties he is yeah, completely there's, lucid there's blood everywhere he seemed to notice the blood form. trails also seem to be uh, leading away from him almost as if the blood came from bodies trying to get away oh yeah we, we've been brought here as food yeah i clocked oh, yeah. that as soon as we walked in um yeah. look this you've, is you've got, you've got experience in that i've i've <laughs> i have gone through a lot of things okay this is this is fucking small time in comparison so this is fine um can can i do a flashback and say i brought veb's gun oh. you can but um it, you want me to use it as well as she can yeah i, I, I her, her ghost the ammunition yeah for her ghosty ammunition mm -hmm. Look at it Do I need to use a flashback if I brought items with me? No, to say you that don't. I have you can just take it off your sheet. You so I was going to say, one of the things that I've always got with me, and uh, it's like one of my items, is a, is a spirit bane charm. Okay, do you know what? I think you guys should have some equipment that can help you out. The reason I chose to do this uh, this level today is I thought, do you know what? You guys don't have the person that knows us know us to deal with it. It'll be fun to watch you guys deal with it. Mm. Yeah, because Vev is usually the one, the one that deals with guilt. I don't think you guys have any really direct know. weapons to deal with even ghosts. You might have a few indirect things that can help you out. I have... My my ability is calculating and foresight. You know what I mean? What about in your inventory? Do you have any items? In I have... A fine cover identity. Um, a you fine bottle of whiskey. Um, I have a vial of slumber essence. I have a spirit bane charm, whatever that is. That'll protect you from a hostel. Could always uh, blow the wall up. <laughs> leave. <laughs> um, I have a concealed palm. 
um, pistol. You know, on the left side where it says standard items, you can actually scroll down and then there's more items. Oh, I have arcane implements, baby! A vial of quicksilver, a pouch of black soul, a spirit anchor in the form of a small stone, a spirit bottle, a vial of electroplasm designed to break and splatter. So and those implements will allow you to um, subdue a, a, a small ghost and maybe even capture one in a spirit bottle. But as you can see in the building right now, there is actually more than one ghost. Now I equip my spirit vein charm. Yeah, I've got mine. I'm, he's wearing his like a lapel. Okay. Oh, I do I, I do I okay. If you just click on it in your sheet, you should equip. But yeah, it won't let me add it to my inventory at the moment, which is I don't know if it's because we're on the mission already, yeah. but I'm like trying to click it and it's not doing anything. Yeah, yeah you've both oh, got yours in there. Okay. So uh, if any ghosts do attack you, you will have the uh, advantage to uh, resist it. I'm putting yeah. it on my foot right now, just because my outfit looks good and I don't want to hide it. Can I make it smaller? <laughs> I can. Yeah, there we go. Mine's oh, how do you do that? There we go. We it transform it. Oh no, I can't see it anymore now. <laughs> oh, nice. I made it too small. Anyway, he's wearing it like a little thing on his like jacket. It's like yeah. a little clip. So. You notice as you put those on, the ghost behind the bar eyes both of your uh, charms, but he doesn't react. I'm gonna. Fox is gonna confidently with that bit. Okay, I'm gonna. Can I pick up these beer bottles? I can't carry them. Yeah. There we go. Just carrying this open spider-filled beer. Just gonna sit down over here. Okay. Yeah. There's a, a spirit there. Um, Good evening, think, sir. Uh, he seems sad, drunk, and he's uh, playing with a, the, this bottle of a uh, alcohol that's just like longing, looking at it. This beer bottle. Penny for your thoughts, sir. He says, uh, he, 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 a he begins piece. to trauma dump on you about how he lost his job at the factory and he didn't want to go home and face his wife. You don't want to go home and face your wife? No, so he's drinking why, his troubles away here today. Why don't Why don't you want to go see your wife? Well, he of all people. Like he lost his job and uh, they're going to lose her home now. He... Buddy, yeah. buddy, no. That's not how it works, man. You, you lost your job. That happens. It happened to me multiple times. Your wife, though, she is the one person in the world that will understand. She'll know. Now, you're right now, you're here, you're drinking, you're spending money. Well, he just gambled wife... away all of his savings as well uh, in a game of poker. Which is, uh, she's also right. not going to be very happy So what, about. you're just going to stay here forever and just let your wife worry and deal with that on her own? He takes a Why swig of his beer and says yes. Why did yeah, you marry you, this you woman? Have you got a problem with that? Why did you marry this woman? Um, Fox, he's gonna take a swing at you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, uh, why is it giving me this one? Okay, I'm doing that roll again and getting rid of it because it's already been done. Um, hmm, Fox, how am I gonna do this? Okay, this other one. You That's are going to be rolling. So not my resolve. <laughs> it's gonna be you're gonna you're gonna give me a. Um, I'm trying to give you. A, try not to be too mean. You're gonna give me a skirmish roll to see if you can stop the bottle before it hits you. Because you can't hit the dude. He's a ghost. Yeah. All right. The bottle is the only thing you okay. can stop before he's he's gonna, he's gonna try a bottle. Uh, yeah, you managed to catch the bottle in the air. Buddy, buddy, your wife is waiting for you at home. Taking it out on me isn't going to do anything to solve the problem. You've got to face this fucking problem head on. Because if you're just going to sit here being a depressed piece of shit, then why did your wife marry you in the first place? Get the fuck out of that seat and go home and talk to your wife. Okay, you're going like to need to attune to him as well. Try and, uh... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, okay, yeah. there we go. Attune. Go ahead and roll that one. Uh, Viv, how are you? Oh, sorry, Viv. Lux, how are you assisting with that? Um... Oh god, how am I? Go ahead and say like, something like, along the side Wait, could you repeat that? You can't. Yeah, just say, just say uh, whatever it is you're doing to help Fox with that role. Um, I'm being a cute little cheerleader. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know how I would assess somebody into attuning to a spirit. So <laughs> he's using, like, coercion to do it. So you could yeah. assist, like, you could back up what he's saying or something oh, okay. related to that. Thank you. 
Um, looks would kind of like cross her arms over her chest and let out like a really long sigh and be like, "If I was your wife, I would just be really sad I didn't see you at home." Like she's like <laughs> kind of like trying to kind of out guilt him, a guiltless spirit as like gaslight gatekeeping girl boss the spirit. Yeah, yeah. I think but you know what I mean. <laughs> He's, she's just kind of like, oh, that was a bad decision. Okay, you, you've got him. You've got control of the spirit at the minute. Right now, you can use some of your arcane implements to uh, dissolve him right now and uh, let him go peace. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. basically what I was going to do. Or okay. yeah, I or. could get him to attack one of the other ones. You can do, yes. <laughs> You're in control of him right now. If you want him to stop throwing hands with someone else in the bar. I'm, I'm going to be like, that, that other shade over there, that other guy. I heard him say some really horrible things about your wife. He, he looks over at the other table. He, I don't know if I don't know if you didn't oh, hear that from me. He, he but tells he you that, said, that that dude has been saying a lot of shit since he, uh, since he's been here. He's just, I think you should go teach him a lesson. Oh, you know what? He's gonna go on over to him. These ghosts are gonna grapple. <laughs> the they're, they're gonna start the weird rapping, weird. but uh, the one that you sent over, unfortunately, uh, is not the winner here. And it's, uh, oh, he lost the thumb war. Yeah, he That's lost. That's a shame. Well, is that other one weakened because of that, though? Yes. Is, is that not he's, he's a little okay. weakened. Yeah, you've uh... My dude, I just saw you in that fight. That was incredible. Well, he's uh, he's got. I've got a uh, a lot of aggression pent up right now. Oh, I understand that. Is it the alcohol? Well, yeah, it's that, but also I just found out that my husband's been cheating on me this entire time and Your gambled away all of my money. No. I mean, I'm here gambling away all of his money, so I guess that's... No, no, I mean, yeah, but, the but whole if he's cheating been cheating on, him, on that's, you, then that's... That's uh, uncalled for. That's more than fair enough, though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, if he's I mean, been... I just need to hit something it? really hard right now. I, I, I get that. Mm-hmm. So what 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 happened? How did yeah? How did you find out? Well, I came home from work early one day and uh, was looking for my husband's savings to uh, gamble them away, and I, uh, yeah, I walked in on him, didn't I? The, what? Yeah. Oh my goodness. my god! What did you do? How did you react? What? Well, his savings and ran. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that's the standard, really. So have you been I here would ever do since? The same. I well, would yeah, do I've been the taking same. my anger out here and this. Uh, this bench isn't cutting get anyone. He whacks the bench really hard. Uh, yeah, so I was I just thinking, you know. Fleshy and, uh, I saw you. I saw you take that guy earlier. But you know that guy on that couch over there? Looks like he's having a. I don't know. He's been throwing up on his own. <laughs> he looks like he's. Look how round that head is. Look how round and malleable oh, it give, is. Give him. Give me. Give me an attune roll for this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to assist an egg on as well. How are you going to be assisting? Yeah, I'm just like, look at him. <laughs> Go ahead and do the assist on that, Lux, and tell me I'm what gonna, you're saying gonna... to him to egg him on. I'm pushing Um, this Basically, she's kind of just like, yeah, I mean, look at me, it's disgusting. There's vomit everywhere over that chair. He looks dis- I, I can't even look at him. I can't even look at him. I think if you were to deal with them, you would be doing everyone here a favor. Oh, what? If I'm helping the young lady. Go ahead and roll that box. It's a mixed success. <laughs> I think the last one was too, to be yeah, fair. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, this shade is gonna. He's gonna go over there. And he's, he's, he's gonna essentially take a swing at him. Quite a bit. He's gonna, he's gonna try and grapple with him. Uh, mm -hmm. Rising up, he's the one that loses this one. <laughs> oh man. Okay, okay, this is this is this is working a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> also, I am so fucking stressed out right now. My heart okay. is pounding. Okay, it's okay. I'll, I'll do this. One. I'll do this I'm, one. I'm really struggling to breathe. <sighs> Oh gosh. Take a, you're gonna take a swig of the spider beer. <laughs> no, don't take spider beer. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I want, I want, I want. I want. I mean, if you're gonna drink anything, at least drink the wine because the longer that sets, the better it tastes. Oh, that's true. Yeah, there's wine right there. <laughs> that looks fermented as fuck. Let's go. Let's Basically, go. 
basically cheese at this point. Oh god, that's disgusting. <laughs> gonna take a, a swig of this ancient wine. Uh, Lux is gonna pick up this beer bottle. Box is loaded in the wine. You're not sure what it is, but it adds texture to it, I guess. Oh, that's good. All right, I'm a, a favourite yeah. rap. Uh, Lux walks over to the head and kind of places it His head it is uh, moaning and in pain, and he's like, I just need to lie down for a second. I've got the worst hangover in the world. Oh, I've been oh, there. He's, he's just really he's like uh, not feeling it today. Hey, did you know that the best way to deal with a hangover is to just drink more? I've been I've been trying, and he gestures over to all the bottles around him. Oh man, I completely understand. Maybe he, you should he try getting. He wants a nap. He just wants to. Uh, at this yeah. point, he'll take a, a bullet in the head. If you'll uh, just head it your way. <laughs> he, he's been suffering um, for a while. I mean, if you really want me, if you really want to. <laughs> she pulls out a pistol. <laughs> Did you take? Have, oh, you got one, haven't you? Yeah, yeah um, let that. me just uh, let me just uh, equip it. Hold on. Do you have any ammo that works on ghosts? Oh, are you? Let me have oh yeah, I'm using Bev's gun. I'm using a flashback for that. Okay, okay, you've got her ammunition. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I will say though, if you do use that weapon, um, uh -huh. the spirit wardens will be alerted to your location. Aww. Yeah, but then we'll be out of here before it's yeah. done. So yeah. be... you're okay with that. It just adds yeah. some, yeah, just have to point in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Enjoy. So how yeah. shall I shoot this man? Because he clearly wants it. Yeah, Place it in his mouth. Yeah. You can't miss that. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay, let me set up the roll for you then. One second. <laughs> so look, it's gonna be... Um, hmm. I genuinely can't help because I will be over the... I, I'm on... Mm -hmm. I've only got one. Yeah, okay, thinking of stress. Be Please work. Oh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh. He goes in peace, although having used um, electroplasma camera on like that. Spirit Wardens would be uh, aware of that. They'll be uh, heading over to your location. Uh, momentarily. I mean, we're not doing anything illegal. We're literally just clearing the ghosts out. No, you're not place. doing anything illegal, no. But they'll be after no, We'll be doing that with fucking service. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just this ghost now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, we're, uh, I think all your other patrons have now been seen to. So, um, can we maybe get some, like, uh, I don't know, fajitas or something? To get, I don't know. A he fajita? takes a moment to look around. Or maybe, like, some sharing bowl of nachos, you know? And, uh... Mm. Are you not, you know? He says, well, if, if everyone else is uh, gone, I can go on my lunch break. And he looks at you hungrily. I, don't, I, I get the feeling when you say that, that you don't mean food, you might mean me. He does not elaborate further. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, I kind of got that impression from you the moment I walked in here. There's a lot yeah. of blood everywhere. How many people have you killed, sir? <clears throat> He, he doesn't, he doesn't, are, are you gonna shoot him or uh, are you gonna wait for him yeah. to attack you? I'm gonna shoot him. Okay, okay. He looks give me another. I am going to assist. Okay. Which is gonna bring me right up to the top of stress. Okay, I imagine you'll be using your. You got some. Um, in, you got like a vial of like ectoplasm. I think you can throw to stun him. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that. And I can. I can throw my arcane implement type thing at him. Okay, you both, in to... that case, I'll give you two, I'll give you, because if you both do that, I'll give you an extra... I'll throw some shit at him. Yeah, that's fine. I was like, if you, I'm don't, you don't need to assist him I... if using your items, that's fine. Yeah, Fox, I... you can just hold my hand and keep it steady. That would be great, because Lux is Yeah, he, he can be the one that's Fox throwing the ball. stands behind you, he's going to guide you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna hold you. He's got. He's like. He's like mapped behind you. He's like got one yeah. hand on one shoulder, but really high up. Go ahead and roll that one, Lady Lux. Okay. Uh, should I? Should I? Oh, I didn't put a on. Yeah. Okay. What you've done seems to have damaged him quite a bit. Mm -hmm. He's uh, He's not looking so good. Although it's. And not Fox is just gonna anymore. shout. Why don't you just fuck off right now? Well, having used another bullet, has used up. 
Just be, yeah. you run out of ammo, I'm afraid. There's only two bullets in the uh, ammunition. Shit. Sure. So, uh, I thought there was three. I'm afraid you've only brought two in this one. You can try to attune to it and trying to. Uh, that fox is going to have a go. Okay. No, 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 no. You don't. You can't take the stress. I'll do it. Okay. Is it is it always a put is it, is it always a You can do a group form? action, so you can both do it, but whoever leads the group action takes the stress. I'll do that. Okay. I'll take the stress. But you can both try and banish him together, okay. It's yeah. You. Go ahead and that's gonna be a desperate one, so go ahead and roll this. Uh on doing that. This ghost uh isn't doing too good. He suddenly just begins to fade away. And, uh, what I want to say before he goes is, yeah. uh, just, I just, I just say to him, think on all the lives that you've taken. I hope you're reunited with some of them wherever you're going. <laughs> I'm gonna put this gun away now. <laughs> oh no, I think it, I, I think it looks good on you. Thank you. Oh, you've thank a, you. Thank and you. You got a sort of like a sort of sexy western thing going on. Like a shooting from the hip sort of thing. Oh hell yeah! Um, we should we should probably get out of here. Oh yeah, we should definitely leave. It looks like we've got rid of all the ghosts. That was a lot. I was gonna say that's easy, but right now I feel like my heart is gonna explode in my chest, and not in yeah. the fun way. For whatever reason, Let's... the door has not come back yet. Oh, oh fuck! For fuck's sake! It's okay. I might have something for this. <laughs> is there a back door? Is there a back is there a, door? Is there a is there a window anywhere, Obi? Uh, not that you can see, no. No windows. Okay, so... Um, I do have... In my inventory... <laughs> some... What was it? Uh, demolition tools. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do you want to use them? Hell yeah. Okay, go... Um, <laughs> give me a rag roll. Uh, Lex is going to take a... <laughs> Step back. Oh, hang on. This is a group action. One second. Uh, rep. There you go. <laughs> the hammer's bigger than you are. I might, I might push myself so that it's just the roll. I don't know. But uh, then that stress will be I really high. I can assist high. you. I'll assist you. Hold on. Okay. Go ahead and give that roll. Are you assisting me by telling me how cool I look right now? <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not thinking that it's funny that the hammer is bigger than you are. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this wall's really hard. Do you want well, you know, I'll, I'll tell you this, it looks like the wall is paper thin, so it must be a supernatural force that's uh, making it There is no, there is no way. That was just... A, a, can I put my hands against it to... Like, it's, in, it's incredibly cold. Oh. oh, I don't like that. There's, the, mm. Also, the, uh, you, you might have uh, noticed that the room looks a little different. Yeah, there's a big red bit in the middle of the room. Oh! What does that mean? Oh, Oh, it's like a, uh, I think it's like a romantic sort of uh, mess that they set for us because we're on our first date. Oh, gambling. Oh, the gambling. Okay, I can do that too. <laughs> I'm going to put down my sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know a, a poker table appears with some floating chips and, uh... oops, one thing. <laughs> and, uh, floating cards. It disappeared very suddenly, but it came back. Don't you worry. <laughs> Do you know, I've recently played poker and it went quite well for me. Looks oh, wait, you were nice. there. <laughs> nice. and, uh, Do you remember? It was a couple of weeks ago, so I, I, I imagine you might not remember that well. No, no, I remember very well. You hear a I saw voice. You make it. Um, no, from, please don't tell anyone. <laughs> somewhere in the area, you're not sure where from, asking if you'd like to play. I would love to play. What happens if we play? Well, you'd have to uh, play and find out. <coughs> oh, you're, you're a lot bigger than I thought you'd be. Oh, they look cool as fuck. <laughs> if you'd both uh, take your table, up the opposite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fox has already sat down and he's like <laughs> cracking his fingers. <laughs> I guess I'll sit here. Now, 
this is for uh, those of you who probably haven't figured it out yet. Is a a demon you are going to be yeah. uh, playing a card game against? Yes. We are getting severely underpaid for this job. We're going to get sent to the shadow realm if we're not careful. So let's see. Uh... <laughs> the demon looks at you both and uh, deals you some cards. And uh, it, essentially, you're playing what seems to be uh, a, a, kind of like a, a variation of blackjack. Like, I was about to say it better not be strip poker again. No, it's not. No, you'll be taking you can, it into. You can terms strip to be with blackjack dealer. as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't so, want this e robe in front of a demon. The demon is going to go first. You already have, baby. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Makes success. Unfortunately, you both take um, a point of stress. Uh oh. Is someone oh, already at max? I am capped out. Unfortunately, I'm... box, you are gonna have to uh, take some. Uh... <laughs> trauma. You are taking some trauma. Yes, I'm gonna mark. Yeah. You're currently gonna be. Um, hmm. You're the first person to take trauma. Yeah. Unfortunately, first the injury, first trauma is trauma is the one thing that you cannot heal. Yeah, it's like real life. I'm gonna say you become uh, unstable. So uh, this uh. It's already there. Happy <laughs> <laughs> was always unstable. It was on brand. So does this? It, do I continue to take trauma with each next bit of stress I get? Though? You do, yes. Oh god. How much that trauma is. do you get before you die? Four. Four. Oh god. <laughs> Lux, he he hands you the deck, and it's your turn to heal. Oh god. Okay. Tell me, are you using any items? Or are you going to be doing anything to uh... I don't... I, do I even have any items that I can use in this situation? I have some sexy throwing knives. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not going to help you here. Yeah. I'm just going to put my... Um... Yeah, I really don't. I really don't have anything. <laughs> I guess I'll. Let me very quickly look at my play. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I'm just gonna need to roll. I don't have anything that I can do in order okay. to. So, um, you'll be giving me a, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be nice and give you a good roll. Please. I'm oh, say merciful roll, overlord. Who <laughs> <laughs> cool, I'm trying to think, how, how would I go about being, uh, I'm gonna say, give me a study roll to see if you can tell. B has a, a good hand or a bad hand, mm. Go ahead and give me that. Um. Maybe you're okay. Um, Why am I so bad at card games? You take a point of stress for that, Lady Lux. Oh, I'm at the tippy top. If Fox, I go it's, over. it's your turn to deal with the cards. Okay, so I uh, Fox is going to do some, like, bullshit. Uh, he's going to do some, like, uh, like... Essentially, some like underhanded tactics using his own cards, which he has he, on him. Which he, are, his, are you able to take that off the team, or have you? Oh no, I'm two out of three apparently. How much does? How many so, points does he? Uh, three. So he's two out of three. So the trick deck takes one. I yeah, believe. that will be your last item you can use on this then. Fine. Yeah, fine loaded dice and trick deck. Yep, you can absolutely use that to get an advantage on this. Okay, uh, and also he's he's going to be using. Um, my, my, I was thinking he'd be rolling off like finesse or something because he's trying to yep, like he would be, yeah. essentially fuck him with the cards. He'll be finesse and you get a d6 because you're using your own. Not loaded. So, uh, go for it. Give me that roll. Success. Oh, would you look at okay. that? It seems like a pretty high success to me, sir. Okay, that's good. Well, hang on. I've got to put. The demon has to take his hat off. Yeah, so demon... <laughs> demon. Mr. <laughs> demon, success, take uh, off your you, clothes. You lower the demon's... Because you're using chips as well to uh, play with this. You lower his by uh, two for that. So what you're aiming to do is basically take, make him bankrupt. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> the demon's turn. This is a genuine problem. You're trying to, yeah. He's gonna give it a roll. Oh, he failed. He, uh, he just happened to lose this fair and square. You can tell the demon is actually playing fair and square. What an, what an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's not cheating, but he is very good. As you can tell, considering everyone in this bar happens to be indebted to him, and that's what was giving him his power. Uh, I see, okay. okay. Um, he then begrudgingly passes the deck over to you. Lux begrudgingly takes it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll say, do you know what? Because Box switched the decks out, you will get an advantage for if you know how to do it. So I'm going to make you do a finesse roll to see if you can play with Box's deck okay. the way he does. Because like, you've seen him do it before. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give you're sort of very up close. You, can, you know, shuffle the cards as well as he. Oh. Okay. Yes. That's loading down a bit more. Box is back to you. <clears throat> also, Lady Lux, because you succeed on that next time you roll again, you will get an extra d6 to roll. Yes! So box, roll that. Oh, nice. You it are. looks like the fates are turning in our favor, sir. Are you sure you don't want to back away before things get too dangerous for you? He calmly takes the deck. Just got some <laughs> coin back from you both, or from church, uh, from a uh, church. Oh no, he gets his point back. Yeah, when he succeeds, oh. he gets them back. Do we take stress on top of that as well? No, you don't take any stress on that one. Oh, okay. okay, I think that's it's nice just if we lose, if we lose. Mm, yeah, if you if you lose, that's when it happens. Oh. Okay, action, your lady Lux, it's your turn. I'll mm -hmm. give you the extra d6 because you uh, have figured out how to use Fox's trick deck to your advantage. Okay. Oh. I'm so nervous. You're doing it. You you pass the deck back. To Fox. Fox is Fox is calm, <laughs> despite he, he, mostly because he's very unstable yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Demon is very panicked, and he takes the uh, the deck from you. And uh, before he uh, rolls, he's gonna have a quick look at it. Oh no. He notices the deck has been uh, switched out. <laughs> and he's not happy with that. But he'll allow you to continue wrong, if you continue using the fair deck. Oh, of course, of course. If we don't like using my deck, then that's perfectly fine by me. Fox Although says he is gonna calmly. also uh, take a swipe at you both. So if you can both roll a resistance on me, or the, or me on the, with the red dice next to the word resolve. Oh dear. Mm. Oh, this would be physical as well. Won't he you is, yeah, he's physically yeah. harming you for it, trying to cheat him. Oh, good. I I'm all right with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather he physically hurt me at this point. <laughs> I, uh, oh, um, Lady Lux, you take level one harm. Uh, where do I... Where I'll do, do it I for you. It's in your... Uh, Looks okay. his heart. You are hurt. Uh, Fox, you manage to resist, you don't take any damage. Looks is kind of just great. sitting there like, ah. Uh, and now, I, I he's, gonna, he's, gonna, time. Well, he's gonna, he's gonna go ahead and uh, play his hand. He loses. They do that. He uh, passes the deck to you. If you win on this hand, <laughs> you defeated it. Oh, I'm scared. But if you lose, you'll get a condition. <laughs> yes, that is indeed correct. Uh, you're going to be doing... Uh, it's going to be a straight up. Mm. In roll, do I say? Don't see Give me that roll. Oh, hang on. Okay. No. Action, one second. Lux, I think you do a... Uh, it's a... Uh, finesse. Go on. Okay. <laughs> Succeed! The demon has lost the game. You both have uh, all the chips on the table. He has none left. He uh, doesn't seem very happy about it, but he is a demon of his word. Demons cannot break their contract or their oath, and so... Oh, obviously. Oh, thank goodness. Please. It was a pleasure playing with you, sir. <laughs> I do not feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Lux is shaken. 
I think I think we should I think we should make out right now. I think we should leave. Oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea too. Yeah. <laughs> the door has returned. Oh god. <laughs> Do you know what, though? As far as, like, first dates go, like, I've had worse. <laughs> I mean, I've never been injured on a first date. Oh, you've not? Have you not? Oh, you've not not gone on the sort of dates I've gone on, clearly. Uh, oh, that place has disappeared. Yeah, it's just gone. Huh. It's just gone? Huh. <laughs> oh, that was so strange. <laughs> How does getting harm affect you? Um, it would have an effect on your roll. So if you rolled and you succeed at doing something, um, because you got level one harm, it means you might not have the full effect of what you're trying to do. So an example would be, let's say you're trying to uh, pick a lock, right? And you succeed on that roll. What would happen mm -hmm. is um, you'd only be able to like partially open the box that you're trying to open. I see. See, this is what happens when we do ghost-related activities without Viv. I do not. I feel very, very strange. I feel like, you know, like I, I, I felt really panicked, but now I just feel like, you know, everything's sort of just a little like bumpier, you know, like it's like the, 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 the air around me has got like waves to it, you know? I guess. It's she just, looks very know, confused. It's like... You know when you you know when you're like uh you're running your hand through someone's hair. We should we should leave. Like, oh yeah, maybe. As you were leaving, you know the spirit warden just happened to go to the uh, corner of the street you were on, just looking confused why they were there. Hmm. Fox waves. <laughs> <laughs> it's very bad luck to look one one of them in the eye, so you're supposed to look away. Lux was not looking. Oh god. Let's try and find our way back home. I don't know. I, I, don't know I just, Fox I just walked Fox. down this street. Give just... me your hand. Give me your hand. Oh, Come on. oh okay. You're... I'm sure it's up this way. I think it's somewhere around here, right? Um, it's in Char Hollow, is it not? This is not Char Hollow. You're currently in the district um, of Crow's Foot. I don't want to be in a Crow's Foot. Oh, there, there's, there's Viv. Let me. It's over. It's over here. I found it. <laughs> oh, you let go of my hand. No, I'm. <laughs> oh, I'll come find you. Um, um, there you. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Take my hand. I know it's, it's a bit clammy at the moment, but it's okay. It's the, it's the anxiety. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can yeah. feel. You can feel his pulse through his fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> Lux really thinks he should see a doctor again. <laughs> Mm. Alright, just needs to go hauling. That's it. <laughs> Set him straight. As you oh as you walk in, Arya look sees you both looking really uh really run down compared to uh how you were just earlier that day. And uh ask if you um are, are doing okay. I am absolutely phenomenal, thank you for asking. I just uh we just actually went out on a date. It was just uh you know it was it was really nice. We uh, had a couple of drinks. Oh, uh, where did you end up going? Made a few friends. Know, you've been looking for a new place to go with her I uh, was, it was. It was some dive bar, wasn't it? It was somewhere up in the uh, sort of in the northern district. I didn't get the name of the place. Sorry, it but it was uh, very dark inside. I was struggling to see. They had a, They didn't really have a, like a proper menu either. It's like you know, you know, like one of those places where you kind of have to know like the type of drinks that they do, and they just do them for you. It was a very mm -hmm. odd. Well, I, I prefer that to be like a set menu, but the, you know the company was nice and the atmosphere was good. So. Okay, she's been looking for a new place for her, her anniversary little bit. Uh, she's been thinking about this place, but she's asking if you know any uh, any decent like. I wouldn't. I wouldn't really suggest that place. As I said, it was one yeah. the company I was keeping at the time. But no, it was a. Well, it was just... Aria, I, I'm happy to let you like have your birthday here. Uh, sorry, your anniversary. Yeah, it's an anniversary. Yeah. Her and her boyfriend Des are uh, celebrating five years together. Oh, he's, he's been really helpful Five her. years. Yeah, she's been like, you know, they they've been like childhood friends. They grew up together. 
Oh. Yeah. Okay, so he's also your age. He is. Well, he's, he's like oh, a that's year older. Okay. Okay, that's, that's okay then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a really handsome guy. He's got like curly, soft brown hair. Uh, he always wears the red scarf that she made him. He's really charming. Adorable smirk. <laughs> Do I know who this is? You like, might. I, so he am I? Yeah, he's got okay, a really ch cheeky grin. Fluffy, soft brown hair. He's, he's reasonably tall. I feel like I should know this character. It's like a reference to iCarly or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, you, so, I mean, you, you guys have met someone who does. It. I know, I recognize it, but I really can't remember. Oh, oh no, it's John Soul! Oliver Pope piped in and said, oh yeah, he's a friend of mine. Oh, I, I think I briefly met that man before I had a massive emotional breakdown. I mean... Yeah, he's, 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 a, he's a lovely guy. He loves buying drinks for his friends as well. He's, he's always socialising. He, really he hits on lots of women as well. Oh, yeah, that's that's he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a rascal. Oh, so you're okay with that? Yeah, know? absolutely. Does he... Well, is it like an open relationship sort of situation, or is it like a... Well, he's, he, he's, a, he's allowed it... all the freedom he likes to be happy. He's a... I know he... Okay, well, you know, as long as you're happy. Yeah, Look, we are very happy. Like a, he's he's always supported me financially yeah. when times have been tough. He's essentially raised me when uh, we were living on the streets together, actually. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know about that situation. It's, uh, it's nice. It's nice that the two of you are happy and that, you know, you love each other and that you do anything for each other. And no, 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 no one's thinking of Honestly, abandoning it's, it's the, the best. Other. It's the best. It's, it's what keeps me going at times. It's what makes me want to help. I, so many I can imagine. You might not have like that so, in their life, for some you know? people, yeah. And for some people, that would be the only thing that's keeping them from putting a gun in their mouth. So that's, that's a... Oh. That's incredible. Oh, it's dying, dying. Oh, oh, yes, sorry, I just... Uh, yeah, it's okay, just take a moment. She, uh, she turns to you and asks, and whispers, is, is he okay? Um, he, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> um, but in general, Arya, dear, you are more than welcome to have your anniversary here. I'd love to see Jensel again. Jensel, I've, uh, yeah. um... I did, I did bring up this location to Des, actually. He, uh, he, he seemed adverse to it. Mm. And then she just shrugs and is like, oh. Well. Why don't you surprise him then? It would be quite she romantic, like, would it not? Right? Have him, like, maybe like, put a little blindfold on him, lead him here. We've got great food. Maybe, maybe. That would be a... Uh, do I? Do I? Mm, I don't have a lot of money, and this place does seem expensive. Oh, don't worry about that. This is a. You remember how you were talking to me recently about um, like. Oh God, I cannot for the life of me remember the name of it. It's the coven type thing that she's a part of. Oh, the of. weeping lady, of course, yeah. Yeah, the weeping lady. Um, well, it's kind of just like this is an establishment that raises money for charity. So, the food here is quite reasonable reasonably priced it's like it's not an expensive place she thinks on it she's like she, she looks at the prices on the items even then she's like well gentle's the one who normally pays correct and he's the one that's always supported me and actually yeah. he's always come through for me in the end and I, yeah, i'm sure, I'm, he'll sure. Somehow, I'm sure yeah just just think about it just think about it. It's a it's a nice, quiet establishment. There's lots of really cute cats. It's it's the cats and that are really drawing her in. You can tell she's been like eyeing up the cats around this place, like yeah, and trying to restrain all... herself from petting all of them. Oh, Fox. you can pet them. You can pet them. They're all lovely. Fox is gonna put a hand on Arya's shoulder. Don't let this man get away from you. Do whatever you can to keep him. Keep him close at all times. Don't let him out of your sight. And don't. Whatever you do, don't. Don't Lux let is... anyone else touch him. Lux from behind Arya is staring at Fox like, why would you say that? Like, she's not saying anything, but she she's kind of just like, hmm. Fox has like tears in his eyes and he's like, <laughs> just don't. Just don't. And if, if the worst does happen and this love that you share were to die 
make sure that you still respect him. You treat him with respect, okay? You don't hurt him. You don't break that man's heart, okay? Um, on hearing that, Oliver sort of looks over to you from his conversation with Bob and says, um, dude, it's not cool to trauma dump on people like this. And then goes back to his drink. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I sometimes have a tendency to overshare, he says, and he walks away. <laughs> Look, Lux tells Arya to uh, think about it, and she apologises for Fox again. Good consideration. Um, you know what? Yeah, um, digging the vibe of the space to clean it. Yeah. He'll speak to her. It's a good question. He'll speak to her, yes, about the uh, financial situation. Yeah. 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 Well, I hope you have a lovely day, Arya. I'm gonna go make sure that he's all right. I think he, I think he definitely needs to be attended to. And yeah. like I said, if you if you need, if you need someone or somewhere to go for support, the, the arms of the leaving baby are always open. Yeah, let you know where they are. They're in six now, actually. Not that far from yeah. there. I truly appreciate that, Arya. I am very interested in learning more about them. We always take donations, especially when it comes to like food donations. In fact, I'm here just to collect a few donations from Tyler. Oh yeah. Very supportive of us. Yes, Clyla Clyla is lovely. She does a wonderful job managing this establishment. Oh, I can tell. Mm-hmm. Right, I'll, I'll bid you goodbye now. Thank you. Um when I'm walking back by um Mr Ackerley, is he still like glazed over listening to Oliver? No, he's no longer listening to Oliver. He's currently going through some notes in his briefcase. Okay, so he's Although busy, when he walks past, he does argue. Make a. He, he seems to make a note. He's definitely, he's definitely observing you. Um, do I notice this? Uh, do you know what? Give me a, give me a roll. Let's like, see if you do notice him. Yeah. Or maybe not. So when he gave you, I'm gonna say serving. Give me that one. Just as it is. Okay. No, you don't notice him. It's a shame. If I noticed, I was gonna look back and look. <laughs> Where did Fox go? He's, he's, he's walked into the, uh, the, uh, the fireplace. <laughs> Got uh, in fact, by the time you arrive, he is sh- shouting uh, Adelaide. <laughs> um, it's like, he needs to he, wait. can't see you from there, the chairs are in the way, so... Uh... Okay, thank goodness. I was about to say, I'll, I'll need him wait until he's not paying attention to me. <laughs> Are you shouting at Adelaide? You told us that this would be just a basic job, that it would just be a simple extermination. There were four, four fucking ghosts in there. Like, like giant ghosts and a demon. Four ghosts and a demon, Adelaide. How is that? That is, that is, that is at least five coin on its own for the demon. She, she looks at you, Fozzle. You can tell she, she, before you even walked in, she was very confused for a second about something. And then she asks you, um, can you describe what this demon looked like? All right, so it was kind of like, uh, kind of sexy looking. It was very tall, had like a big circle around it. Uh, it had a, uh, it, it had play, playing cards, it gambled. It was a gambling demon. It wore a top hat. It wore it a very horns. fashionable top hat. It yeah. had horns, kind of like mine, but they were like, Longer and thinner. Okay. I like your um, um, she she, like she looks horns. around. It's like, I think the client might have been the demon in huh? human form. Oh. Well, we beat him. Well, I'm so afraid. Who... Then th- there's no pay for this job. Adelaide, are you fucking with me right now? I'm, I'm afraid not. No, it, the man that approached me was a man in a top hat who was uh, known to be a prolific gambler. Who and told do you me take? And did you take any payment up front for the payment? He said he would have payment later. I what mean, the fuck, Adelaide? The only payment I took from him was my own fee, which is of course one coin. It's just size and see that bottle of wine that she asked um, Adelaide to look after earlier. It's right there on the counter. Yes. That was fucking terrifying. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't get any coin for this job. You I'm know, just gonna. Been... Uh, I, just, I just need to just to sit down for a second. I'm just gonna. 
<laughs> and just like he's thumped his head on the table. <laughs> he's like <laughs> Lux is Lux's neck in this fucking bottle of wine. She She feels overwhelmed. Don't don't go hogging all of that. I need I fucking need this. This right is now. my wine. This is my I, wine. She won't give me any. She keeps giving me juice. <laughs> oh. And Adelaide goes to the to the back there and her, she go, goes ahead and grabs the bottle herself. You keep I I I I'm, I I can't just keep drinking juice. You can have you know coffee. How, you can have a coffee. Do you know what it? Do you know what it's doing to my intestines? And like the first time ever, you, you are seeing Adelaide grab an entire bottle of beer and just start downing it. Yeah. He's right there with you guys. Yeah, she's ha Lux has had a hard day. Anyway, we beat a demon, so I guess that's cool, right? That's yeah. like, at least like a feather in our cap. Oh Even yeah, you get some reputation for that, I'm sure. Like people were like, we beat a beat a gambling demon at his own game. <laughs> and, it's quite you know, the got... so it's a shame that, you know, nobody, uh... It just feels like I got into an argument with my weird uncle. Well, I mean, you, you, I mean, oh, you did get injured as well. You're looking a little... Are you feeling okay? I'm quite sore. Whereabouts? Good question. Um... I was gonna, gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll gonna give you the one coin that she uh, got for her fee for that. So do you know what? I'll put it in the uh, the vault as recompense Thank you. for uh, this job I mean, not I going did. quite the way any of us expected it to. I was gonna offer to give you like a back rub or something, but uh, if it's not your back. Then that's uh, like, Lux doesn't even know where she's hurting. She just knows that she's sore. I assume just, that's how harm works. Do you know what? You need you need to take a bath. And Fox is gonna go. And <laughs> run, run a, a bath. Run a bath. Well, I've just, I've just rubbed, run, you, run you a bath. Do you need any help with anything? She thinks for a moment and just shakes her head. <laughs> okay. Do you want to leave the wine behind though? You shouldn't really drink in the no. bath. Oh, okay. Uh... Fox will take his juice. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the uh, entanglement roll and see. Uh... Okay, let's have a look. Interrogation. One of you two is going to be interrogated by the Blue Cults into uh, what you were doing in the uh, District of uh, Six Towers when the Spirit Wardens were investigating some shady going on. Oh, that's fine. Well, uh, Lady, Lux is t Lady Lux is taking a bath at the moment, so uh, Fox will... <laughs> okay, you can either pay them with three coin, uh, you can take a level two harm, or you can take three heat if you want to give them some information. Mmm, he's pretty fucked up right now already. Yeah. Like I said, you <laughs> no, can pay them off with three coin, or uh, just give them some details that will end up giving you heat, because everyone's gonna know you. Yeah, do you know what? Adelaide, like, fucked up this job so bad, so he's just gonna, like, vent. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna take the three gonna heat, okay. About Gonna take the three heat and just vent about the job and like how much of a bullshit job it was. Because <laughs> technically, what we did wasn't illegal. It wasn't. No, it's a, in a in a sense. Like I mean, yeah, it was a, a service. Sense. Really, we got rid of ghosts. I mean, but, you could literally just be venting like, oh, um, Adelaide <laughs> uh, suggested we go here for our day, and then it turned out there were fucking yeah. ghosts, and they. And no, um, Fox genuinely believes that was a date now as well. Like he's like. He's, <laughs> The boys, the boys, the boys now unhinged. So he's like, you know, he's unstable. <laughs> so he's <laughs> his perception of what happened is is slightly skewed now. I'm gonna yeah, pretend that the fun. gambling yeah. demon is actually um, Lux's distant relation. <laughs> no, this one was an actual honest to god demon from the uh, other one. <laughs> yeah, no, it uh, still stands. <laughs> There's a sofa Fox there, Fox, gonna... if you want to sit down and watch her bathe. Fox is, Fox is just going to sort of stand at the doorway, like, so she's just out of sight, but he's going to, like, chat with her. Yeah, okay. While he's there. He's not, he's not going to, he's not going to perv on her, like, not to her knowledge anyway. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not undressing her again, because it takes... Just, just sip in his juice, and, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I just spoke with some uh, blue coats actually. They uh, they wanted uh, some information. Uh, they were ready yeah. to rough me up. 
Um, I didn't actually tell them anything specifically, just the, that we'd sort of like had an encounter and everything. I sort of scuttered around the truth a little bit, so I don't yeah. think it's going to cause too much too much of an issue. Okay, you've got the option to do your downtime activities now. You both get two, and then Lady Lux, you have the bonus one key that you use or give to Fox. Uh, let me know what you're going to do. Um, I imagine you're going to want to indulge in your wife's right? Probably. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna go. He's gonna go to the brothel and cry. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he does. That's how, that's his vice. I'll say you're allowed inside he's... the establishment, but obviously they're all gonna get yeah, their daggers at you. Know what? He can't. He can't sleep with any of the prostitutes, but he just so he just goes there to be sad. Yeah, stare at you wanted. <laughs> that's his you. vice. His yeah. vice is to make himself feel like shit. That's his. And he uh, goes all the way to the brothel when Lux is right there. <laughs> It's not the sex. That's the thing. It's the it's the <laughs> it's the it's the it's the, the self flagellation is his vice. And let me indulge my vice, Obi. <laughs> let me indulge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll that. It's all stress. I would also like to indulge. <laughs> go for it. Go ahead, Fox, and roll that one. <laughs> Why am I disadvantaged with my pleasure? I don't understand. Because your insight is zero. <laughs> Good, I'm going to need to go again. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll the second one. There we go. Yeah, that's how many times too stress now, so that's good. Lady Loves, you still Tricky have one juice. more yeah, I need downtime, and then you have your bonus one. Um, can I do indulge again? Okay, go for it. Okay, um, I will acquire a doctor then. Um, unfortunately, sure. it will take you one action to acquire and then another one to use it. You won't be able to use it after you acquire it. Oh, uh, fine. I won't clear more of my... I won't use... I won't indulge my vice a second time. I'll acquire an asset and then I'll see a doctor. Okay. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay, acquire an asset. We'll go ahead and roll that one. And success. Okay, you managed to get a pretty decent doctor, actually. So, nice. um, and then you're going to do a recover roll. So, if you click on recover, because you got a mix okay. success, you got a doctor that you can use twice. Oh, Ooh. nice. Because the way that works is the asset quite a roll. Uh, the better it is, the more pieces <laughs> you get out of it. Mm. So now you do a recover roll. It's good. I had that. to wait two weeks for that. So. <laughs> Okay, you only recover one segment, so if you look at your character sheet, mm -hmm. if you go to the progression tab, near the, okay. let, see the section which says healing, next to it there's a little circle there, you, so far you filled out one segment of it, um, you will need to recover again to fill it out completely, but obviously you've used Wait, the Wait, where's the healing? Uh, next to the, underneath oh, the stress, yeah. above half. So, oh, sorry, uh, hang on, it's only gone up to, I need to decrease that. But you only, you've only got one segment filled out right now, so you've got three empty mm -hmm. segments. So you need to recover again to clear the uh, arm. Oh, uh, okay. But on the plus side, you still have another use of the doctor, so you can use that doctor again. Anyone else nice. can also use that doctor when it's their turn to do so. Oh, nice. But you won't have to go ahead and find another doctor again. But once <laughs> you used him up, then that's it. So I'll make a note of it. Um, in fact, you know what? I'll Don't you hate it when your doctor's run out of uses? <laughs> well, no, I do. <laughs> Yeah, I'll say, do you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll drop your doctor in here. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. In exchange, you, you're letting him uh, crash on the couch. Oh, no. No. <laughs> and uh, he'll treat you next she's, time you... Uh... She's taking a bath, so you're going to have to wait out here. Oh, yeah. He's, 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 he's fine with that. Hello. <laughs> you're doing okay in there, Lady Lux? Uh... Yeah. You sure? Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, as long as you're fine. I just, uh, the, your, your doctor's currently sleeping on the couch, so I just thought I'd, uh... The wizard? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was the first one I found. Oh, well, you, you know, maybe look a bit harder next time. I mean... I mean, I can use him twice. <laughs> I don't like the term use him, but uh, <laughs> it's an odd choice of word for a doctor. Hmm. Yeah, well, 
Lux, Lux is gonna finish up in the bathroom and come out. He's gonna be uh, immediately just pumped out on the sofa, sleeping there. Hmm. Should we go through his stuff? I could punch him in the gut. I mean, I'm gonna take his shoes. <laughs> gonna pull his shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, yeah, you've, you've taken the wooden shoes. Uh, there's a lot of shit underneath them. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna go clean these, give me a minute. You realise they're actually caked right now? Um, he's not... He, yeah. He, not I'm just a the bottom fucking the entire shoe is like caked in like mud and dirt and built. I'm a damn professional. Lux is tired. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even taking lines, he's walking out with his knife, just like... Mm. In the, just getting the shit off the bottom of the shoes, like. Oh God. Oh, don't worry, I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm a lot better now. I'm not ready. I'm not gonna stab myself, especially if not with this knife. It's covered in shit. If okay. I were to stab myself, it would be with a very clean knife. You know what? At least, at least it would be a clean one. Exactly. You don't want to get like a disease or something. I'm gonna let the doctor nap. I'm just gonna go. Just gonna go and sit there. You should, you should do that. Uh, do you need anything? Do you want me to bring you anything? I mean, I've got this wine. I mean, I meant more like you know, if you need food or anything, or you need, I don't know, some painkillers or something. Painkillers would be wonderful. Cool. This wizard's got some drugs on him. I know he has. <laughs> <I'm gonna> just... <laughs> He's got a few rolled blunts in his. Uh... Oh fuck yeah! Here we go. Gonna take take his blunts and I'm just gonna go, <laughs> gonna spark up the shit off. This is good shit. There's something in that you should <coughs> uh, just keep it in your <coughs> and pass it over here. Yeah. They're right there on the table there. Oh my god. I think it's medicinal. I think it's fine. Mm. I don't think anyone's I don't think you're gonna get in trouble for it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a narc. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah, this is some, this is some, this is some dope shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Look, Lux is smoking like a pro. This is surprisingly like... strong stuff. Like this wizard does not screw around when it comes to like. You can tell these are like probably like. Herbs he grew himself in his own like little garden somewhere. Fox is whiting out already. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, that is that is strong. I'm used to this. <laughs> hey Adelaide, do you want in on this? Adelaide is currently uh, necking down a bottle of uh, beer right now. She's a. Uh, this is probably the worst state you've ever seen her in. She looks very stressed, but. Uh, He's happy now. Be before grass, you'll be on your ass, so be careful. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna give this back to the wizard. This is too much for me. Lux has smoked about half, but she's gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel. Oh, it's been a long ass day. I did want to ask you though, Lady Lux, uh, you know, like the other day I, I did some stuff and obviously I'm, I'm sorry for how that came across. I didn't want to like, you know, cross any boundaries or like, you know, you know no, 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 hurt your feelings in any way. And I'm, I'm, I, I don't, sometimes I, I do things without really thinking things through mm -hmm. in the slightest. So... You know, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. Lux is very high right now. <laughs> <laughs> so is Fox. He's like, you know, and you're just like, you're this really like nice person, and you're just like, you know, you're very down to earth, and I feel like you get me, you know, and I, mm. and I don't think many people do get me, because mm. I'm like, you know, this weird street rat guy that just like yeah. clean shit off people's shoes, and I'm just, you know, but you're like this like princess. Who wears these like beautiful clothing and apparently has like horns or something you mentioned about? I don't. I, yeah, she like leans, like she's sitting down, so like you're probably like face height with her. They are. Are they? Are those real? Yeah, you can touch them if you want. Oh, okay. 
He like reaches out and he just like very gently like traces his finger along the back of one. Oh wow, they're a lot smoother than I. Right? No, and they've got nice. they've got little ridges on the front. Oh. Do you feel that? Is that like a It's like um you know how like uh she holds out a, a, a her hand and she's like, you know how when you put like pressure on your fingernail? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's kinda like that. It's kinda like oh, that. Okay, okay. It's like dull, but I can still feel it. <laughs> Fox is just like doing it, just like continuously like stroking the horn like the dazed look in it. <laughs> Oh yes. Does he have the urge to polish it, clean it now? You know, do you what do you like put anything on these? Is it like a? Oh, mm-hmm. well, I can make them disappear. Why would you do that? Oh, um, a lot of people find it really un- unsettling and scary. So, do they? Why? <laughs> I think they're beautiful. Um, blush blushes. <laughs> it looks blushes. <laughs> Um, uh, she she's kind of like a lot of humans find me, well, this me, quite unsettling. So whenever I appear in the public, as my father's daughter, I I have to appear human. So you're not, you're, you're not you're not human. I mean, I my my family's from Tiger Roads. Well, we since you're from the Daggerod and you spent your time going from merchant ship to merchant ship, you know that yeah. uh, Tycroft is like a uh, faraway land. And you've met a few people who are from there, but they're not always uh, yeah. incredibly welcome in gospel. Mm. So you're. So you've had to live your whole life like around humans that hate me. <laughs> Maybe we do have a few things in common then. <laughs> <laughs> She no, I, uh, some of the wine. <laughs> but like, no, I, you know, you especially around here, you don't need to hide any of that. You know, be yourself. Be she, you. So she, she, she nods and she's just like, I feel, I feel more myself with everyone here than I do in the public eye. That's good. The public eye is a horrible thing. It's awful. The people, the people out there are just shit. They're just so many of them are just awful. But you know, hope around here you can feel. You know that you, Viv, um, Adelaide, even you guys aren't scared of me, and I appreciate that. I mean, I'm a little scared of you, but not because of that. It's, it's the whole different I mean... thing. <laughs> she, <laughs> she just laughs a little. Um, and she's also kind of like, good, you should be scared of me, but... <laughs> it's, it, it's a strange thing. It's like, I, I'm, I'm terrified of you, but also weirdly drawn to you. It's it's the whole strange dynamic. It's like a like a bungee mm-hmm. cord. Mm-hmm. Adelaide obviously knows your father and he's from Tigros as well. She, she would have known. Yeah, she, she... Adelaide knew that's why she was never worried about showing this version of herself to Adelaide. The only... Admittedly, Lux is quite nervous about that detective guy. Because he, she, she re- realizes that she shouldn't have said openly that she she owns this building. I wouldn't worry too much about that. You're probably just a bit paranoid right now from the from the the weed. Uh, that guy is just he's 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 a he's a detective. He's he's a consulting detective. He's not going to be an issue. And if he tries to be an issue, we can deal with him. Quite interested in him. Like sexually? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Okay, good, good, okay. I think he could be useful as well, I mean. Oh, I okay. To... I want to keep an eye on him for a while. Okay, okay. We keep we can keep many eyes on him if we need to. We know a lot mm. of people. I mean I can just ask Clara. Yeah, she works here, so she'll Yeah. Keep it, she'll be able to, if he's hanging around these parts. Yeah, Otherwise, also that Junsel cunt, I'm gonna fucking kill him. I think that would upset his girlfriend, though. That's a... Listen. Weren't we meant to kill her, though? I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, we were supposed to kill her, but like, I, I like her. I don't, I don't particularly want her dead. Do you think we could kill Junsel instead? And then, like, turn mm. him in as her bounty? No, I think the Dimmer sisters would know the difference between her No, and no, her. but but in a way that's worse 
than killing her because we're killing someone that she cares about and she'll have to live the rest of her life not being with him. So really, that'd be more mm. valuable. I think they just want Monopoly over her ghost. Yeah. His ghost yeah. could be valuable. Mm. Not, that I'm, not that I'm condoning killing the man, you know, I don't I don't actually know what he did. I, 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 I assume he did something bad because you seem mad about it. Lux thinks for a moment about whether or not she should tell him. And did, she kind of just, she kind of just goes, he tricked me and I don't like that. I know you don't like that. I, uh, mm. I have first-hand experience knowing you don't like that. Yeah. He took my money and ran. As well as my invitation to that ball that we got from that man. Uh, that was the oh. invitation that was going to be your ticket to uh, sneak into uh, Skurlock's home. <laughs> I mean... Lux is mad about it. I mean, surely someone of your stature could get another invitation very easily. And I mean, what is money to you? You come from, like, aristocracy. You, you know, you've got, you've got money. Money is not an object. Money's not an object to me. It's the fact that he did it. He did it, yes. Because that's the sort of thing people do. He also this cheated this establishment out of a lot of money. That yeah. is that causes problems for the people that but work here. What, but what are we doing every single time we go out and do our little adventures? We are we are thieves ourselves, are we not? I don't think you guys know this, but uh, he didn't he robbed you guys so he can support Arya. Yeah. I'm yeah, just all saying of that I... alcohol that he robbed to support yeah. us, yeah. All I'm saying he stuck around till he got that... money and then he bounced immediately once you're comfortable enough to pay him. Yeah. All, all I'm saying is that we need to choose our vendettas wisely and make sure we're not aiming for the wrong people. As far as I'm concerned, the people we need to be aiming for are much higher up than a little street rat like him. Lux crosses her arms over her chest and she's kind of she kind of huffs a little bit. <laughs> you can you can you can huff all you want, but like the the ones that control the wealth are not the people out there scamming people. It's the people out there who are hoarding the wealth above everyone else. We see them every day. Fox, I know. I'm just annoyed. And you're perfectly entitled to feel annoyed. Um, uh, you, you can. And, and, and if you want to feel annoyed at me as well for what I've done, that's perfectly acceptable. But we don't need to be going off and getting sidetracked with bloody vendettas against useless, insignificant people. Fine, I'll just harm him. Yeah, I mean, I'm on board with that. And if you need to harm someone, you know, in some way, like, not necessarily, like, mortally, but if you need to, like, hit someone a bit or, like, slap them around, you know, if you need to get that anger out, I am here. Adelaide likes to chime in and say that <laughs> wizard looks very durable, too, if you, uh, need an outlet. No, 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 you don't need to, if you need to slap someone or just, like, you know, give them a good kick in or just, you know. Are you just... saying you want to be physically harmed by me? Not necessarily physically harmed, but if you want to just, you know, if you need to get some anger out. Anyway, I just, uh, yeah, I am, um, I am really high right now, so <laughs> maybe don't take everything I say at face value. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Except the stuff I said about the people on the top there, there that, that is, that is a real thing we need to be, we need to think about that. Lux is one of those people. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, there's plenty just, of rich. You're stealing from the ones that are above you, even. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. You're like Batman, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Batman stealing from Lex Luthor. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys I, can um, do your level up as well. I believe you'd, you'd have gotten a lot of experience because you get a lot of experience. Well, you get one EXP if you succeed on a desperate roll, and every yeah. roll against the demon was a desperate one. Oh, oh shit, yeah, man. I am like. One, two, three, four. Fucking hell, yeah. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, that was a very difficult encounter, but you got a lot out of it for succeeding. Mm. I mean, you almost died, but like, stand. yeah, worth it, right? I mean, mm. I'm now, I I am unstable, which I don't, I'm assuming is that just a role play thing now? Essentially, it... yeah. So I've now got to act. I mean, also, I was already acting. You still get your two through. coin in your stash, so you two stash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still, so still yeah. yeah. Fox is fine. Fox is fine money-wise. <laughs> Wait, um, hold on. 
How do I see? One. Wait, hold on. It's in your playbook in progression. You've got your your questions for uh, what you did. If you addressed a challenge with calculation or conspiracy, you definitely did. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I did all of mine. I think. <laughs> uh, even even like uh, struggling with my uh, from my issues <laughs> regarding my trauma. I definitely expressed my heritage and background. Yeah, go ahead and put some points in your playbook EXP or uh, anything that you think you did. There we go. I've leveled up, guys. Um. And when you fill up your playbook okay. EXP, you can click. Sorry. One. I'm sorry. I'm just counting how many EXP I go up by for the desperate rolls. So one. Oh two. no, the desperate rolls were done automatically. They're already added okay. on. Oh. Yeah. So okay. You see, like the inside prowess resolve dots. Those are the ones you got from the desperate one. They get added on automatically. Oh, sexy! I think I just need one more to level up. Yeah, again. it looks like you need one more. When you do level up, you can take another special ability. Oh fuck yeah! Fox, I'm gonna. Level up. I'm gonna get that yeah. ghost contract shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, we need shake on a deal. You and your partner, human or otherwise, both bear a mark of your oath if either. Of if either breaks the contract, they take level harm, a uh, three-level harm, cursed, or something like that. I'm thinking about that. One. I have, uh, I have, I'm becoming a master manipulator as I've uh, just gained the ability trust in me. I get one plus one D versus a target with whom you have an intimate relationship. Oh, so if you <laughs> roll, oh, okay, if you roll against either Viv or Lux or anyone you know, like Lyra, mm. yeah, yeah, any cases. any of my friends. Yeah, I'm I'm going around building relationships wherever I go, so this is like. <laughs> okay, well, you're a very sly guy. You should have played a fucking spider, dude. You're doing <laughs> it a lot better than I am. <laughs> no, no, he's like Fox is a hundred percent like um, a manipulator. That's why that's why I played mm. the uh, whatever it is I am. <laughs> Slide, slide is <laughs> slide is literally manipulation and just like. Being being a slime ball. I had a look at both of your characters. She thought, you know what? These guys are very ill prepared against anything spooky. Let's throw spooky shit at them at the yeah. highest difficulty and see how they do. <laughs> I think we did all right. We did all right, didn't we? We did yeah. survive. I mean, we came out with an injury, and I'm a bit unstable. But I think yeah. Fox being unstable is pretty on brand at this point. <laughs> I, I was kind of worried at one point when you guys were like maxing out your stress, just taking care of the basic ghosts. Like, oh shit, they're gonna lose it when they see the demon. <laughs> I had two stress left when I saw that demon and went, fuck. Yeah, my singular stress that I had left at that point, I was like, hmm, mm. this is going to be a problem. And it, uh -oh. was. it was. It was. But then was I cheated, so it's fine. <laughs> at least we learned from last time that you're good at cards. I think it tied in really nicely, right? Yeah, we did. It did. Um, if we've learned anything, though, Lux is Lux is bad at cards. <laughs> you managed to figure out how to cheat, though. Yeah, I managed to figure out how to put the knife down. Oh no, I'm just I, I I'm just uh, keeping it on me now because I, I I feel safe when I have it. Has Has the Mother Lisa just gone? In that room. It has. Oh no. No, the Mother Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Won that fair and square. I oh, know she's right there. I see her. Is she? Yeah, I, I can see, see her. Looks, I think you're high. What? There's nothing there. Not showing sure up on my end. Oh, look at my stream, dude. <laughs> I'll sort it. I'll, I'll bring you no. back. I can't. I can't. Uh, what? She's right there. I don't. I think you're. Do you need a? Do you need to have a sit down? Maybe some juice. No. Thoughts. Do you, want, do you want me to rub your shoulders for you? <sighs> Do you want to rub my shoulders? So, I, I, I was offering to do it. Is that the, 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 surely the implication was that I was willing to do that because I was offering to? Is that not? Is that not? Is that not the, Can the you rub my shoulders? Fox raises his arms and just about like manages to get to the top <laughs> of your shoulders. <laughs> it's like I, I got this. I got. I've got quite long arms. <laughs> and he's just like very gently just with his thumbs just like giving you giving you like like kneading kneading your back oh you got a lot of tension up here actually <laughs> Lux will kneel down so it's easier oh okay thank god I need a seat I need a step ladder <laughs> also what are those shoes you're wearing because I've I've been watching your, your shoes those are fucking huge huh oh these 
know. And I wasn't staring at your feet. It's because I, 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 I'm a shoe professional, so I, yeah. I, you know, I was watching the shoes. It's yeah. Not a, it's not a um, weird sex thing. Uh, Lux kind of shuffles around and takes her boots off, and <laughs> Lux wears Lux wears like quite high heels. It, it's to in her head is to make her less inconspicuous when she's human. Um, so like, um, when she's Dorothea, she's shorter, more petite, kind of thing. So, um, after after taking her heels off, she like stands up and she's kind of like, she's still a bit taller than you, but you're you're like at her face for the first time. Yeah, he's sort of like Fox, sort of like looks at you <laughs> like that, uh, and he goes a bit red, and he's like, "Well, this is this is odd. I don't get to see you at this level that often." Seeing your face sort of like straight on, you know. Yeah, this 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 is my this is my real height. Okay, why th- those look really uncomfortable? Do you want to try them on? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, satellite watching. I don't, you know, I don't want to. <laughs> no, no, no. She's she's busy. I don't think she's watching. Yeah, give it, give it a go. You know, I think the reason they can get away with this is because they're high. <laughs> Fox like starts trying to put them on. His feet are probably like a bit bigger, so he's like, "Yeah, oh, Fox, they don't fit you as, as comfortably as they fit her. Your feet are indeed like a size or two bigger." Yeah, Fox <laughs> is now probably like maybe like three or four inches taller than Lady Lux. If they're like six inches, I guess. So yeah, he's just like, "Oh, look, I can see that. Oh, I can see your horns really well now." Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. try. I'm just gonna try taking a step, and he just immediately eats shit, just like. Oh, uh, like- <laughs> Lux will catch him. Lux will catch him. It's fine. Oh, I am. Strangely enough, I'm not used to walking around in in heels. Mm. Oh, you know, he's like. Are these better? Are they meant to be like? I mean, they do wonders for your calf muscles. I've got pretty good calf muscles, I reckon. You know. Entire mm-hmm. lower body, nothing upper body, but everything lower <laughs> body is like just, you know. Yeah, I've got good okay. legs. I'm just, it's all, it's all in my hips and my butt, really. It's like a, mm. it's all like a quite a round sort of bottom half, and half. then just, just yeah, just a bottom half. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're mocking the way I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> He's drunk and high. She can get away with it. <laughs> Been doing this, been doing this accent for years. Let's not, <laughs> let's not start criti- critiquing it now. <laughs> she's small, drunken, fucking guy. She's yeah. That, that stuff from the wizard is really hitting her pretty hard right now. Do you need to sit down? Um, do, we, do we need to put you back in the bath? No, no, no. I, I don't. I don't. I, I. I don't need another bath. I'm. I'm very clean. Okay, you smell it, so that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, we can uh, wrap it up here. <laughs> 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 uh. Did you have Fox is like a fucking high, like <laughs> drunk <laughs> and unstable. It's like <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I think you, you earned the right to be drunk and high and unstable, <laughs> considering you dealt with a demon for free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You'd also have Charlie uh. waiting for you to pay the five coin after. I'm just nope. not gonna go out. Yeah, we're not leaving ever again. We're gonna stay here forever. <laughs> we live here now. He'll get tired and go home. Oh, he certainly Eventually. will not. He will. He'll have to. I my my guess is like he'll fall asleep. We'll, he'll fall asleep and we'll sneak by him. <laughs> or I could just stab him. I thought you liked Charlie. Yeah, but ever since I went up against that demon, I just feel like my morality's slipping just that little bit, you know. Yeah, it really didn't like that he pointed a gun at me. I've been shot before and it wasn't No, I didn't like that he pointed a gun at you. That was not on. Yeah. Personally, I am against pointing guns at you. I want you to know that. Mm. That's a strong stance I have. It's a strong stance I have. Lux moves her coat to the side and like lifts up her top a little bit and shows him a bullet wound scar on her like tummy. <laughs> like Fox instinctively looks away as you start like un- 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 undressing and it's like oh oh okay um yeah yeah oh oh what's that like a keyhole surgery oh no no I got Stop. shot I got shot 
Oh, okay, one second. And he like lifts up his shirt. And he's like, okay, so this one was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Continue. So Not this just one. Paying attention. Okay, so this one um, was a blue coat uh, stabbed me with a bayonet. Mm. Uh, and it like took, actually got my kidney a little bit. It was uh, it was pretty rough. Uh, the kidney works again now. Or it didn't for a while. I was peeing blood for a, a long time afterwards. Don't kidneys um, like remake themselves? Eh, everything does eventually. The body just regrows, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, mm. There we go. This one here, and he shows like a big like laceration, uh, just like down his middle. Uh, that was actually a, a, a group of people. It was a bunch of uh, really angry vagrants that tried to uh, cut me open to. Uh, I think they wanted to take my liver. Um, oh. when, then they got in there and they saw the state of my liver and they were like, no oh dice. My. I see. So, uh, uh, um, Lux traces her finger down it. Oh, sorry, it's very sensitive. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit, you know. Cool. Um, and, and then uh, uh, up, up here, and he's like, raises to like just below his rib, uh, where there's like <laughs> a massive, there's like, there's like several, like it looks like a claw like wound. Mm. And he's like, yeah, that was. Just a really angry cat. Mm. Just like, what did really... you do to anger a cat that much? Um, we well, you see, we're in the, the alleyway, and there was I found like a, a full roast chicken, and I was like, that is that is dinner for tonight. Uh -huh. I, it, was, it was a different point in my life, and uh, the cat also wanted said chicken, and uh, I mean, you I didn't... got the chicken, but I also got this wound. I, I then, as a compromise, gave the, the cat some chicken. Okay. Eventually. Lux really I... likes cats, so she's very happy about that. But yeah, the cat didn't didn't really like how that went down, and mm. yeah. What was it like, sixty forty? So I mean, well, the cat was a lot smaller than me, so you know, sort of seventy thirty. No, that, that's but... that's fair enough. That's fair enough. It was really nice to me afterwards. Like, oh yeah, yeah. But then, but obviously, I, I, I did have to have several stitches. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's just normal, I guess. You know. <laughs> what a funky night. <laughs> yeah, Lux is not gonna go back out. Charlie, well, can just see so you know, that cat's gonna make an appearance in the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> Lux loves cats. That's why she manages a cat cafe. I'm gonna put him with the cat she has a rival. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna put that angry cat on Fox's cat if she has a rival. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna befriend that cat so quickly. <laughs> I'm good at giving it. things what they want to make them trust me. Fucking betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, we can wrap it up there. Did you guys have fun today? I did, yeah. yeah. Can't believe we beat a demon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Lux's uncle's been slipping recently. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, cool. I think next time we'll be playing will be the 8th in January. So the 8th of January? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Excuse me. And we're going to be having new what? members join us? Yeah. You're gonna have Morgan Hope, here. Hopefully Shannon. <laughs> I don't think Sunday's a good day for Shannon. She kept trying to join in, but things just get get in the way. So yeah. I might not add her in, but I've got her character stuff ready mm. if she does have time to join is in. It, yeah. Is it because she hates you? No, it's because <laughs> she found out you're playing, so... Uh, don't gaslight and get you, Obi. <laughs> Come on. I, she joined I, in because uh, she heard I was DM, and then she heard you were another player, and she was like, you know what, I can't, I can't deal with this. You know, like, the, she's never missed any of my games, Obi. <laughs> she's not. She's not missed one game I've DM'd. So I'm so sad. Shannon's not here, so I can't flirt with her. It's a shame. <laughs> she even watches the ones that I. She, she even watches when I DM. Like, I mean, I'm just sorry, Obi. It's just I'm. I'm just. She, she obviously sees that I'm superior. Maybe that's why she. She thought she couldn't compete against you as a player. Oh, hi, Mel. We are just wrapping up our D&D &D session. Too late. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> um, if you uh, want, though, if you if you want to to catch it, um, all of the previous D and D sessions are on Avatar Obi's YouTube channel. Oh yeah, yeah. This is D and D. This is D and D. Obviously, it looks like a game. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It it does look a game. It's it's on a site called One More Multiverse, and basically, it's like a. Obi, you're probably better explaining this than I am. Fucking up, like a tabletop simulator with like a really cute, cute like pixel art aesthetic. <laughs> and it's got like all the things like automated as well, so like you don't have to worry about having to like do your multipliers or anything like that. It just does it all for you, so you can just play, click the button, and it rolls yeah. the dice for you and everything. And it's really fun and cute. Which is good because I'm bad at maths. <laughs> but no, we we I I am sorry you missed. So what's the name? Session, but you missed a great session. Yeah, so I I believe the whole thing is just called One More Multiverse. Our, our session's called Blades in the Dark. And our like group name is the Fractured Dawn. And then quite quite a lot of names. Yeah, yeah, it's called One More Multiverse. Look into it. It's funky as fuck. It's really I think funky. it's still in beta, isn't it? It is yeah. currently in beta, so it's a little rough around the edges. Occasionally you need to refresh the tab or something, but it works really yeah. well. All things considered. Yeah, because you... It's a little bit different from normal D&D in the sense that there's different classes. Um, There's different classes, so my character looks, she's a spider class. And then you get like a hound class and stuff like that, but they all do different things. It's quite funky. Yeah, I, would, I would definitely, definitely look into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Shame you we guys finally didn't steal killed today. Things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, it's it was a fun session. I had a great time. Yeah. In fairness, you could have caught to. a couple of the spirits and sold them to the Dimmer Sisters if you wanted to get some money out of it. No. No, we did it the right way. <laughs> yeah, it would have been the more evil option, but yeah. We did what we were meant to do. And now I, think I get it's... to play Flux as an unstable monster. <laughs> <laughs> I think no matter what we did, we would have ended up having to face the demon. I mean, he was the client. He tricked Adelaide in sending you there. Yeah. I I can't believe I, you know, tricked a uh, a demon at cards and, like, cheated against one. Yeah, you, yeah. you, you went for, like, a whole round against him and he didn't Yeah, Fox, Fox is better at cheating at cards against a literal card-playing demon. Yeah, a <laughs> demon who is the embodiment of gambling. Although he is a Fucking... demon, he would play by fair because he's bound by the contract no, no, and so on. Fox is king of games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>